Hey guys, welcome back to another Twitch VOD. We're here on the 28th of January, 2022. It was launch day of Pokemon Legends Arceus. So we did some play. I freaking love the game. I'm having so much fun, like an absolute blast. So, uh, and I'm reading everything aloud. So if you want to just like pop your headphones in or put on the, the audio and not actually watch it, everything's narrated. So um, like by me, <laughs> so feel free to just... Uh, tune out and, and listen rather than watch. Um, but yeah, uh, you can find me live on Twitch, 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, or you can jump onto twitch.tv forward slash fiamma forward slash schedule to see all of my live streams, uh, like all the times that I'm starting converted into your time zone. And do not forget to scroll down in the comments, comments, description box, I'll get this one day, scroll down in the description box and check out my social media, in particular Instagram. I'm trying to grow that following a little bit to try to secure some brand deals so I can become a full-time content creator. Thank you so much for all your support and for watching the VOD. I hope you absolutely love it. I will see you next time. What am I doing? Uh, this one? Hello. Hi. Okay. I have to remember that the thing's on a delay. Ooh, um, stream readers. Right. We've got that too. Um, let's begin a battle on the way to the skin chest. Let's see if we can't get you guys some- oh, I just turned the aircon on and I didn't shut the door. Oh dear. Okay, dad fixed. I'm having a very productive day today. Wonderful and great and everything's working just fine. I promise. Um, <laughs> uh, Berserkers. Berserker is the one with two, isn't it? This one? Yes. Oh, it's just me. Oh, wow. That's really close to leveling up. That's awesome. Let me just, yeah, that's what I thought. Where am I? I can unlock the, no, I don't want to, oh, wait, I can. Yes. Um, so why is it up there as a level one? I'm, oh, sort by rarity. No, I like having them sorted by level. I like that these are in just with everything else now though. That's, um, th I think that's a nice improvement rather than having them in that separate bar. Uh, I, I like that. Upgrade. This might, this might take a little while. <laughs> Upgrade. 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 I would love if you could just like, if it could figure out the max upgrade you could do and like give you an option to like do that with the total cost. For when you do this, like I have and fuck up. It would be nice. How is everyone? I hope you're all doing wonderfully. I will catch up on chat in just a moment. It's also dunge dungeons at the moment, um, but I'm not going to do that today because we're... This is a community unlock stream. Community challenge stream. And I feel like you guys want to see this. So we go and do it. We gon' do it. All right. Uh, well done to Zam on first, BC on second, Shiba on third. I need an also here command. There is a redemption for that. You can add a text command if you'd like, Fairy. Uh, you can hit, if you have a look at the little embers button underneath the chat box, there's a redemption in there that you can create your own text command. So you could actually make it uh, if you so desire. Okay, no idea what Aquas is about so be first to show and play it for me um arceus acris is where demon uh, death knights come from <laughs> they're close though right they're fucking close um well, there you go um so what you'll need to do fairy is send me a dm on discord and let me know what you want it to say like so when you type also here into chat what do you want the bot to say back so yeah, send that to me in a DM on Discord, and I will add it in for you when 
I get 12 seconds to do so. I'm playing the new DPS job in Final Fantasy XIV. I'm enjoying it. Fantastic. It reminds me of when Demon Hunter was new in Legion. Oh, that's so good. I'm so glad you're enjoying it, BC. That's wonderful news. Arceus. Yes. Arceus. Um, look. Let's... I have no... Look, I, I know vaguely what it's about. Jas has been giving me some updates, but he knows me. And he knows what parts I'm happy to learn and what parts I'm not happy to learn. But for the most part, I'm going into this with no preconce like with no preconceptions at all. Like, I know it's like ancient Pokemon before there was a Pokemon League, before there were Pokemon trainers, um, back when they made Pokeballs out of, you know, bits and pieces that they found around and all that kind of stuff. Like I know it's like ancient Pokemon and that it's got more RPG elements than the regular Pokemon games do. But beyond that, I have no idea. I do know, however, that I get my Cyndaquil, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> Choose my pet Pikachu. Okay, well, I will do my best to find a Pikachu. How's that sound? I don't even know. Uh, surely Pikachu is going to be available. Pikachu is like the whole fucking face of the entire game. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. By the sun well. Yari! With the resub! Just a quick hello and look, haven't played yet, so don't want spoilers, of course! Of course, I totally, I thought I heard the door go. I totally understand, not a problem, Yori. Enjoy, thank you so much for the resub. At 12 months as well, a whole fucking year. Good lord. Um, which one, Aether? I can't remember the name. Uh, Eyes of Pretty Day, thank you. Thank you. You could pause the stream and like guess, although you wouldn't be able to hear me tell you that you got it right. Never mind. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. <laughs> this is the most creative way they've ever asked me. Hmm, what do you look like? <sighs> right, so... Um, I'm gonna go with dark hair this time. Usually I go with the blonde one because she's got blue eyes and super pale skin. I mean, obviously I'm not blonde and I am kind of like a natural dark blonde, light brown, but let's go with the, with the black hair one for now. Cause I'm, look, we'll see. Yeah, let's go, let's go black hair this time. What is thy name? Fiamma. Uh, where's shift? Fia. Okay. Hey, Chaos. I just got my Dark World playing at 69 attempts. Well done. Did Yuri Anger write this intro? I don't know who that is. I'm so sorry, Nano. <laughs> Reference not obtained. Uh, Tail and Fear is not blonde. I mean, like, look, I mean, you could mistake it for blonde, maybe. Red Dragon Hawk. No. I was like, Red Dragon Hawk? What? No, my eye makeup is not the Red Dragon Hog. It took me a second to understand what you're talking about. Um, mm. Yes. Um, Ashes of Allah, no. No, I actually have, um, I mean, like I can see why you would think so, yes. I have a neon yellow loose pigment and a neon pink loose pigment. When you mix them, they go neon orange. And so I do, there is a very particular look that I do when I do ashes and it's, I like it a lot. It's, it's my favorite, but no, not ashes today. Uh, all right. All is correct and as it should be. Yes. Fear. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Fear. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. 
Ooh. I am kind of curious because obviously like the original Pokemon games and stuff, it was all very much like, here is a Pokedex. Your quest is to fill the Pokedex. Oh, but actually your real quest is to go do the, the Elite Four. So like, it's a smartphone. Bye-bye. <laughs> so like without an Elite Four and stuff, I'm curious to see like what the, is the main goal actually fill out Pokedex? Munch. Super powered smartphone. How did we get here though? I'm so confused. <laughs> like fine, but like I'm confused. Donk. Uh, people at Firehawk. No, maybe there is no Pokedex here. Did you ever play Final Fantasy again? Um, the time I played it on stream most recently was not the first time that I've played it. Wake up! Um, but I haven't played it since, no. I have been, uh, busy, TM. <laughs> I doth find myself undoubtedly vexed by your turn of events that's engaged before me. Well, you should imagine if God just gave you your phone back. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, do wake up, won't you? Are you alive, my girl? Why is he wearing a helmet? <laughs> Why does the helmet have a fluffy on it? Or is it a beanie? It's a beanie. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Also, what the fuck is that? This. Up the top. What is that? But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand? Come now, who in the world does that? I do. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I don't know. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? I don't know. <laughs> so you don't know anyone around here and you don't even know where to spend the night? Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Somehow, I guess. <laughs> I like his boots. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Crew. <laughs> Foom. Plish plash. <laughs> oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. My, that's a relief. Thought you fell from the sky, it seems we're- Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Oh ho, so you're called Fear. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. A burn shit. I'm kidding. Uh, oh, but I do apologize, I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as three he- these three here were- Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? They're having fun, noob. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, but do, you th but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! Brilliant. Uh, Flame Ward Hippogriff, no. Flame Talon of Illust Resort, no. They're like, here's distracted, let's cheese it. Cool, and then I can push it down and do a dashy dash. And if I press up arrow, I get this. Cool. 
I'm guessing this marker on the grid. Yeah, this is very different to regular Pokemon. There's a glowing beeping object over there. Investigate. You found something that resembles a phone! <laughs> It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone <sighs> and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Arc phone. <laughs> I mean, I know, but like, fucking cool. So we move it to camera. This place is fucking pretty. Left might be the best spot. Um, potentially, there's the only thing at the at the bottom that it's currently cutting off is um, the uh, like half of the chat thing, which I'm re the half the captions, which I'm reading out anyway. That like there's a very like good reason I do that. Also for people who are lurking, obviously. Um, but everything that's come up in the bottom left so far has been control buttons, like push this to run push this to, to open the menu, blah, 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 blah. And honestly, if I'm going to hide anything, that's probably going to be the best thing to hide. Um, but we'll definitely, as we go along, I'm not opposed to shuffling things around if need be. But as yet, nothing's been blocked down the bottom there that's important, other than words, which I am reading to you. Um, uh, bottom left is a used spot in-game. Okay, well, once, like... Once we get there, I'll move it. Because right now, there's no point in me moving shit until I can see exactly where it sits on my screen. Um, <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there. Um, I'm surprised the phone survived the impact. Most phones now would have cracked the screen and the housing. Yes, but Nano, you forget. This is an ARC phone. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, it's not the autumnal wildling. I'm not sure if I said that or not. I don't remember. Sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. Uh, sigh. Alas, yet another miss. Heavenly Golden Cloud Serpent. No, it's a Nokia in disguise. Correct, a Nokia in a fancy box. Aha, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now, that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Crew. <laughs> so cute, he's a ball. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. Boom! So cute! Mm. So cute. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it, it can battle using the shell-like object on its, be on its belly. God, I can't speak today. Plish plash. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing! How to go about catching Pokémon! Here you are, my girl. Pokéballs. Throw these at Pokémon to catch them. That looks a bit interesting. 50! Fuck, okay. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. I love the, like, the wood, um, uh, grain. The wood grain on the, the bottom half in the icon. Very cute. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokémon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokéballs come in. Pokéballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokémon and... Why, the Pokémon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokémon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three run runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Oh, he has terrible aim. Oh, poor puppy. 
Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button, this one, <laughs> to ready a Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do, so use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully at your target Pokemon. Release the ZR Pokemon to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've readied a Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. Where's my... If you've run out of balls. I certainly hope not. Oh god, this is... Oh god. The aiming is terrible. <gasps> Yay! Oh wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Fear. Jo jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. The aiming with the right joystick is extraordinarily touchy. Uh, mm, that, mm, like tap, fwing. Yeah, it was great. Wonderful. Uh, okay, ah uh, yes, looks like it has a cool case! Yes, a Nokia with a fantastically cool case. Golden Cloud Serpent, yes. It is a Golden Cloud Serpent. Not the Heavenly Golden Cloud Serpent, there's no, unfortunately, no white in this one, but yes, it is the Golden Cloud Serpent. Um, woo indeed, number from you, my dear. Right, next one. Um... Yeah, much easier to move you around rather than aiming with the <laughs> with the thingy. Can hardly believe it, Fear. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharper, shall we? 45 for Shiba. One moment. Good choice. Shiba, you have won. Chosen. Uh, Life is Strange, the complete edition. Episodes 1 to 5. Um, and I fucking loved that game. So, like, good job. There you go. Dunsky. Uh, okay. I indeed. It's a fucking awesome game. Like, really, really good. Where? Oh, there he is. Oh, he jumped out. Ah, uh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old girl. Excuse me. Very rude. Ah. The fuck do you go? Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, God. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. Excuse me, but must say, Fear, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. <laughs> Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. 
Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? And I'm just like... <laughs> Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? You've convinced me. Then whoever, uh, whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. This thing, this thing just fell from the sky and told me collect stuff and I didn't have anything planned <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I know what I'm doing this afternoon then. Isn't that just to be here in 82? <laughs> Look, there is a reason I love Pokemon. There is a reason I have always loved Pokemon. And it is that I like to complete shit. I like to collect stuff. And in Pokemon, at least I can finish the damn Pokedex. <sighs> I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to finish ATT. Oh, it didn't fall from the sky. She sorted out. Ah, look. I may not have been thinking clearly when I sorted out it. It did find its way into my add-ons folder, I have to say. <laughs> we have a Pokedex to complete. Actually, speaking of things to complete, um, I actually need to go... I, my water is brewing in the kitchen with the tea bag, so I'm going to go do that. I'll be... Okay, we good. Just gonna stay cool, chat. Oh, actually, speaking of chair, I have something to show you guys. Um, I had a couple of deliveries yesterday. A couple of deliveries yesterday, and first of which. Oh shit. Okay, I, I thought I put them away really neatly. Clearly, I did not, because they're rather tangled. But... Aren't they beautiful? Let me just kind of grab you a string of them so I can show you what they are, like, close up. This is from Throne, from the... from the wish list. Let me just double check. Who actually sent these? Because <laughs> what is by anonymous? Anonymous has has donated these. Um, they're for Noble Garden, and they're little itty bitty bunny rabbits. Um, and carrots. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? And they're all like, yeah, they're super pretty and I'm very happy with them. So, yeah, so come Noble Garden. Off. Off, good, okay. Come Noble Garden, we will have decorations to celebrate. How exciting. I'm so happy. I can't wait to put up the, the hearts for, um, for, what's it called? Love is in the air. I'm just, I'm so excited. The hearts don't have batteries in them anymore because I took them out to test out the Easter ones, so. Yup. Um, and I also got four, um, scat! This was from Zarin. And and I got my, my head I came as well. Um, but is is skirt and it has like 
like a little ear but they're zips and they're functional so they actually like zip up all the way if you want them to or not which not because I like having the the tart in there but it's so cute Jas and I are going on an adventure tomorrow so I'm gonna wear it tomorrow and I'm I'm very excited so thank you very much to Zarin and to a real person uh, for the hair dye as well that's in the cupboard where the hair dye goes oh dearie me it's all so exciting it's so good so good <laughs> So, um, I've been leveling so much, I've run out of rested on 12 tunes. Oh my god, Jack! <laughs> Holy shit! Time for a new tune. Does that mean it's time for a new tune? Those are really cute. Aren't they adorable? They're just, like, they're just the right size to be super cute and, and sweet without, like, super overpowering and stuff. Um. There we go. Alright, first things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. <laughs> Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. <clears throat> Is Che gonna wear them like a necklace? Probably not like a necklace, probably more like a headband. Because I feel like if they're strung down here, you're never gonna see anything. Whereas if I put them like up over the edge here, then like you'll actually be able to see shit, you know? Um, however, I think some of the ones on the wishlist, both of those two are battery powered. Some of the ones on the wishlist might not be battery powered. If they're strung up and they have to actually be plugged in, I'll need to do something different because otherwise, like, I risk doing something really dangerous, like yanking the cord or something like that if they're attached to the chair. But battery ones, yeah, I can secure the battery pack on the back of the chair and just string them up and around, uh, which I think would be super cute and I'm so excited. Probably more time to actually gear something. Also that. Also that. Thank you for your tireless work, keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. Oh, battle. Oh, actually, let me just... Shit. God damn it. I didn't realise it was like a cutscene thing. I'm so sorry. I know there's a battle happening. I just didn't realize this was gonna happen. Stop and talk. There we go. Perfect. day understandable 127 enemies left yeah keep playing uh we need a few more a few more members of the family on the battlefield i think it is going to turn down the number of enemies we're facing i think we just had a few too many that's okay but i can't believe how many i've gotten to level 30 now that's just amazing Let's pop that here. It's my chair flag bearer. I love that chairs on a flag. It's just so cute. It's so cute. This way, if you please. Jubilife Village. Holy shit! Jubilife Village. It's come a long way. Whoa, I missed that. It didn't. It's come a long way since something. Uh, this road we're on now is known to locals as Canala Avenue. I understand you must be more than a tad curious about the village, but do follow me for now. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet and not many to do it. And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside the village. 
Now that impressive building up ahead of us is Galaxy Hall, headquarters for this entire outfit. People are commenting on my clothing and the fact that I'm a stranger. <clears throat> oh, botheration, I'd almost forgotten. Uh, have you found a game that might be for you? Strange horticulture. It's about collecting plants, identifying them, and matching them to people who want them, and yourself to explore the world. That sounds amazing, Nano. That sounds freaking awesome. Strange horticulture. By the sun. Is that on? Ah! Oh my god, X. 12 months. Holy shit. A whole year. Time certainly does fly. Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And of course, all the hydrates. Uh, it's also chill as can be. What's that big portal in the sky? Dunno, it hasn't been mentioned yet. I keep saying, excuse me, what the fuck is that? And no one says anything. It is on Steam. Strange horticulture. <laughs> See, Steam has this phenomenal feature called a wish list, so I can add it on there to not forget about it. Um, no, not library. I want store search. <laughs> Strange. Horticulture is the first one on the list. Oh, it's like brand new. It was released like six days ago. Mystery Exploration Investigation. Oh my god, that looks incredible. There's the button. Add to your wish list. On wish list. Yeah, that looks awesome. Ah, uh, oh botheration, I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Uh, if you add it to your throne, someone might buy it since you seem excited. True. However, there are some fees with throne that they put into the cost of it. So um, the whole the whole idea is that it protects me from doxing and protects you from doxing and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, but in return for that, there are also some fees that throne charges. So you pay an amount and then they buy the item and have it shipped to me, but they have some left over and that's their cut from, from making the transaction for you. Whereas gifting it to someone via Steam doesn't dox anyone and doesn't involve any extra fees. <laughs> um, in the end, like after everything is said and done, I don't want you to, like, I don't want you guys to be put out by this. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, if I can, if I can save you a couple bucks, I'ma fucking do it. <laughs> I'ma fucking do it. Uh, I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past the bridge here, then to the left. The wallflower, it's called. Excellent. Yeah, it looks super cute. Super cute. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Map! I like maps. Uh, use the the negative button to view the map on your ARC phone. You can consult the map for guidance uh, to your next destination and information on your missions and requests. Side quests. You'll also see guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions to try to spot one of these markers, then head for it. Yeah, I, I have no idea idea what the giant lightning butthole is in the sky. Because that is literally what it is. That is a giant lightning butthole. But I, I have no, I'm have i assuming it's probably got something to do with the volcano underneath it, and probably Arceus. Uh, but beyond that, we have been given zero information on it. Giant lightning butthole. Why does, he have, why does he have a piece of leaf stuck on as a mustache? Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Aww. Who in the 
world are you? And what's that bizarre garb you're wearing? A Pokemon could slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes. Hmm, for you to get in there, in here, someone must have vouched for you. Was it Professor Laventon? Do you two know each other? He's from a region a long way off. Not the most reliable sort, though, letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. Three more of them got away just a while ago. If I hadn't been resting up after some Pokemon drubbed me with a move called Thundershock, I'd have, cor I'll, I'd have corralled them for sure. But the Professor, well. Unfortunately, it's just as Ray says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh no. But everything will be quite alright now. Fear here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. <laughs> He's confused. Check out his eyebrows. He's like, what? As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps. What makes you think that's a good idea? We can't just take in any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. I'll allow it. Gah! Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. Somebody is pissed. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Selene. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. <clears throat> Lol, whoops, I know right, Pauls. Isn't it great? Professor Lavenden has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control, and now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we, sim we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh ho, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Ah, <sighs> dear. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi. Mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's mochi, but I keep calling it mochi because, you know, brain. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Where'd you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Ah, well, you know that great hole in the sky? The one people call the space-time rift. Our new fair friend fell right out of it. Was that a joke? Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Sure, they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forests, in the ocean. It's up to us in the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. They're adorable. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Fia will come in. She successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. that me this means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. That's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a, s catch a single wild Pokemon while fending off their attacks. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. Uh, but the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Fear, and think, if you make it into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. This is great. This is just so silly and wonderful. Also, it's great that it's galaxy team that are, like, the good guys here. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. You're awfully relaxed about all this. You do know that we won't get to have Fear join the Survey Corps unless she passes a trial. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Fear's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Fear, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there.
But if you fail to pass the trial we put you tomorrow, put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. She's lovely, isn't she? Captain Selene's like Hisui in a way. They're both plenty harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yeah, sleep tight. Lightning sky butthole. Still, people falling from the sky? That's some kind of story. Just send a 15 year old off to death. Yep, totes fine. Totes fine. Oh god, that camera angle is horrendous. There we go. Was there a- oops, too late. Checking survey tips. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. To save your progress, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll with the ZL or ZR button until you reach the save screen. There is also an autosave function you can use to have your progress saved automatically. You can enable or disable autosave by scrolling to the help screen in the menu, then selecting settings. Are you just trying to tell me something? Saved. Rest. Rest until tomorrow morning. Yes. <clears throat> buzz, buzz. Oh! This is Bidoof. Uh oh. I have a feeling if I was more into Pokemon, I would recognize that noise as a Pokemon call and I'd know which one it was, but I don't. If only Jas was home from work. He'd probably recognize it, but he can't hear it anyway because I'm wearing the headset. Never mind. It's fine. Everything is fine. There are flip flops hanging from the ceiling. Hey, in there, you awake? That was some wild lightning last night, right? Anyway, if you're up, come on out. It was probably Arceus, let's be honest. All right, hear about your trial from Captain Selene. Investigate. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. So jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. This chest looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. Cool. All right, we're good. Let us leave. Did you sleep all right? I know that's not easy in a strange new land. We'd better not keep Captain Selene waiting. Let's hurry to headquarters. <clears throat> Trial time. Uh, this is far more nice than I was expecting to be inside. Jesus Christ. Here we are, Galaxy Hall. What do you think? Ever seen a building this grand before? Don't give up! Keep those eyes open! The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the Medical Corps will put you to rights. You uh, do realize that if you fail your trial and get flung out of the village, you could well die out there. 
Well, he might die even sooner than that if you have to take this- I uh, take on this trial without a Pokémon to be your partner. <clears throat> Abra! Captain Celine, ma'am, I brought fear. Oh, excuse me. You may enter. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Field Lens and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Three species right away? But none of us have ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Backpack! Not a backpack. Waste pack? Fanny bag. Fanny pack, whatever it's called. That whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. <laughs> Ray, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. The Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Activate Guide. Guiding now active. Ah, Team Galaxy. Yeah, right? Team Galaxy is like the good guys. We're trying to join them. What the fuck? Checking missions and requests. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone and you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure while requests are optional and given by people you meet. Side quests. Pardon fear, come with me a moment. <clears throat> now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What did you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Fear absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Pokemon! They said exactly what they said last time. Go on, Fear. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yes. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. <laughs> I pay for Pokemon sound effects, Fear. Ahem. <laughs> uh, hello, Upset Coffee. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. I will say it makes sense why we have the Arc phone. Is it still silly? Yes, yes it is. Yeah, and not only that, but it fell from the sky and survived. So clearly it's not a smartphone. It's a Nokia in disguise. Uh, like, <laughs> it is very silly. Like, but I'm kind of like, I think I'm just used to Pokemon being like super silly these days. I, I like, I wonder if half of it is potentially lost in translation stuff. But then the other part of me is like, nah, it's just puns. Like, they're, they're just having fucking fun with this. Like, <laughs> gotta enjoy your job, right? Hey, Ophade, good time zone to you too. Welcome on in. Uh, good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. You received Cyndaquil! A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the fields. <laughs> coo coo. Plash. <sighs> <laughs> Look at those two cheer on their pal, Cyndaquil. Or maybe they just wanted to help Fia with her trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Fia fell out of the sky after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. Crew. Plish plash. <laughs> by the by, what species has Captain Celine charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. 
Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial then. 7,500 Pokeballs. Oh, only 20. I got 50 last time. It's fine. It's fine. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to the Obsidian fi Fieldlands. I keep wanting to say Obsidian Firelands. Like it just makes more sense to my brain, but no, fine, whatever, Obsidian Fieldlands. Meet me at the gate to your left as you leave headquarters. <sighs> All right, let's go. I hate that it always, when you load in, the camera's always like, I can't see, you're making me sick. Let me like tilt down, okay, go. <clears throat> Ophir, when is the Elder World Tour? Wednesday? The 2nd. 2nd of Feb. Yeah, I was working on my, um, I was working on my calendar for next month. Like, 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 like this thing, except for February. Guys, it's a fu- like, oh, t next month is going to be a time. Next month is going to be all sorts of, all sorts of interesting. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Let's go catch a Ragnaros. Yes. Let's. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. And I can tell that you're a moody 20-something guy. Or girl, maybe. I'm not too sure. Because of the sweeping bang in your face. Um, I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success, so what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sure. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you'll, you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. I was not aware. Thank you, Volo. Togepi! Okay. Oh, the, the bars don't go away. Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, no. Okay, it's not doing anything. I thought it was, like, real time. I'm like, shit, Togepi's moving! Uh, but no. That seems to be fine. All right. Top left, you said. Um, I'm... Is this... I wonder. We'll see. No, oh, shit. Not that one. Uh, this one. Please and thank you. What the hell just happened? Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Uh, let's go with that. See how we go. Cynical used quick attack. Togepi used tackle. You defeated Togepi! Moves, items, use them well and the world will open up to you. Oh, no, there is, okay, um, all of the stuff that Cyndaquil just got came up behind the camera. Um, so that's not gonna work either. Funnily enough, devs don't usually develop games thinking about where cameras will go. Uh, <laughs> I think we might have to go up over here, 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 maybe here. We'll see. We'll see if that works. It's gonna be longer. Oh no, that's fine. What about the last one? La, 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 la. Yep, we're good. Okay, cool. You can use items in Pokemon. What? I know. Um, your type of character. I just met them and I already love them. It should be good there. I don't think anything goes up in the corner for my quick little digging. Well, yeah, it was only for like half a second, but people might be interested, so. Um. Fick. I thought the point was to hoard them and never use them for fear of needing them later. Correct! That's how I play. I think Jess is home. Jess is home. Brilliant. One moment, please. Ooh, uh, I'm 
Amazon. Ah! Oh my god, that was fucking quick. Holy shit. That was like... white paper good that's what everybody needs good lord so a little a little while ago did you check the fridge by the way no i just rushed up here to give you package i have my priorities straight <laughs> um have you I got any do you are you doing anything before you sit down with me probably a shower because i smell bad i pre yeah you do it just <laughs> you go take the shower and um yes hi sheeps Where's, um, but yeah, before you like all the, like before you come sit down, check the fridge. Probably after shower. Hey, Faden. Oh. Um. So. Anon a few days ago suggested getting some oh, some four leaf clover, some shamrock earrings to bring me luck. Uh, on days such as Mount Farm Monday. And I was like, that's such a cute idea. And I really liked the design. So I popped them on the list. I, I accepted the suggestion. And then um, the next day, someone purchased said earrings from the list. Another Anon. I'm, I'm assuming it was the same Anon, but I, there's no way for me to tell. Um, and they were ordered and they've just arrived. <laughs> Fuck, huh? Hey, that's pretty neat. Yeah, that's, that's like... Insanely no, I was talking fast. about this, but that's pretty cool too. Ah, oh, yay! They've got his new flavor. Hell yeah! And I know you love caramel milk, and it's caramel white chocolate, which is literally what fucking caramel milk is. And I got your flake to match. Got a flake. Yeah. Look, guys, a flake. But yeah, so I have, I have little look. Look at them. Aren't they pretty? They're sterling silver, and they're little green stone like. And of course, there are two of them. Aren't they gorgeous? They are. They're for luck on Mount Farm Mondays. I'm so happy. They're beautiful. Yay! God, that was fucking quick, too. Go throne! Go throne. Yeah, yeah enjoy your shower. And um, I'll Ooh. see you soon. You've already missed um, a sky lightning butthole. God fucking damn it! <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Sky lightning butthole. Um, if you go into the final boss battle with less than 99 minor heal potions, you've done something horribly wrong. Yes. Uh, that was my fault when he sneaked in. Yeah, a while just appeared. Pretty, so pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? So thank you so much to Anon. Both Anon who suggested them and Anon who purchased them, even if they're the same person. Double thanks if they are the same person. I will absolutely be wearing them for two weeks in February. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should pop them on every every Monday for my mount farming. <laughs> Did you guys see? I got two mounts. I got two mounts. So I got, um, I did member court and I got, I think it's the Dauntless Dusk Runner from Mechanicos's cache. I hit best friend with him the last time he came to my Ember Court, and this time he gave me his mount. Uh, and then today, um, Ishak in Uldoom has a three hour respawn timer. So like while I'm doing other shit, I just park a tune there and I know like it's every three hours he'll pop. Um, 33 attempts, it's a one in 100 drop chance and it dropped on my 33rd kill. So I'm sorry, maybe it was because they, these were, were sitting downstairs like waiting, like fuck man. I just, I, cause I, I killed it and then I'm like, it came up with the swing and I was like, what? <laughs> what? So I'm overjoyed. Oh, thank fuck for that. It's just like, yeah, no more three hour farm for that one at the very least. For that one at the very least. <clears throat> I know, how good is that, Dursa? That's the Drake of the Four Winds. Na 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 na. Na na 
na na na na na Da 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 Bum 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 bada bum 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 bada bum 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 bada bum 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 bada bum 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 Amazing Amazing Well done Well done team Congratulations to Death, Fade, Oz and Shiva on all your bonus shit. I just realized all of that because of the delay on the mic would have sounded terrible. I sincerely apologize. Um, let us do a skin chest and hope that everyone gets skins to make up for my horribleness. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, can I place a berserker again yet or is it still on cooldown? It's still on cooldown. So, it uh, looks like I'm leveling again. So let's pop down a flag bearer and I go turn in that quest as well. <laughs> ah, flag bearer scrolls, how convenient. <laughs> Level 29 flag bearer, look at that, holy shit. We're getting there, we're getting there. Place your units. <clears throat> uh, oh, love the hype, Haven. Very nice, as in it's a bit of an awkward spot on the map. Yeah, it look, it, t it takes a little while to fly out there, but I feel like I, it's okay because I've got time. I'm not going to miss a spawn because it's fucking three hours, but I don't have to camp it anymore. Uh, I still do need the Waste Marauder from Uldoom though, so that's only up for like three days every two weeks or something. So that one's kind of a, a tricky one to try to check for and get, but we'll get there. I'll get there eventually. I have like a whole list of, um, of mounts that are not good to farm on stream because they're just like a really long spawn time, like Ishak with his three hour spawn, or um, they're like half an hour spawn, which is a little bit awkward, um, that kind of shit. So I've got a list of those so I can farm them off stream and just like AFK camp them. Um, as opposed to things like Shah, which is like 10 to 20 is a lot like, and then, you know, Undast is every 15. If it's, if it's like 30 minute respawn or longer, I tend to put that on my AFK, like off stream farming list, just because it feels a bit awkward to do on stream. Bit boring, jamming out indeed as, indeed enjoying myself. Okay, it's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and then select the change moves option. But so few people here have their own Pokemon, if only more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. Do, 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 do. And to you, my Skyfallen friend, I present some potions in thanks. Five potions! A topical medicine meant to be applied to Pokemon. <laughs> it can be used to restore 60 HP to a single Pokemon. You can use them on your own, or use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. How you like the game so far? Maybe buying it for the kid? Super cute so far. Very, very different from regular Pokemon games. Like, very different, but super cute. We're still at that point of the game where it's all fucking talk, though. Um, even even regular Pokemon games, the first kind of couple of zones, the first couple cities are always just so much talking. Um, so we're, I feel like we're almost at the point where we might break out into some actual gameplay soon, though. I must come here. There's a home today. Oh, no, dupe. Oh, no. Well, be safe. We'll see you soon. Um, hopefully you've got access to the captions. If not, oh, well. Uh, if you can battle that well, I've got a feeling you may have your trial well in hand, even if it's more to do with catching than battling. I like Ray. He's nice. Now to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Whenever you leave Jubilife Village, you have to pick a destination from your map and let rest the guardsmen know where you're off to. That way someone can come collect you if things go wrong. 
He has a shirt on. It's a blessing. <laughs> oh, let me scooch over so you can. How does work? Not bad. I'm sorry you won't be able to hear. You could possibly grab your headphones and connect it with your phone so you can hear things, albeit a little delayed. Meek. Okay. Why? I just, I was trying to give you, you just completely ignored about the... Yes, because milk. <laughs> okay. Just make sure you mix it. Hey, I hope you make it through this. <laughs> it was a jazz look. <laughs> that one. Uh, good. Okay, depart for the obsidian fire field lens from the gate. Your fear, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. I'll try. I love that you're in feudal Japan and you're in a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, because we fell out of the sky. You did a what now? Maybe you should go watch the VOD on, like, double speed. No, nah, fuck that. It's funnier <laughs> well, without fuck context. <laughs> yeah, we fell from the giant lightning butthole. All right. <laughs> Sorry, the space-time rift. It's a lightning butthole. So this is regular Sinnoh Dawn, then? What? This would be, like, the regular Sinnoh character, then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so um, we spoke to Arceus, who spoke to us as though he was wearing a fedora, um, about how doth, how doth thine look... Like, what is, do, please describe thine appearance and all this kind of stuff, um, which I'm like, <laughs> uh, and then put in my name and all that kind of shit. But we're talking to like a starry sort of glowy thing. And then um, uh, the next bit, um, we like, we're just kind of floating in space, like what's going on? And then our phone kind of go, and we're like, uh, 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 we couldn't get our phone because whatever. Um, but then Arceus got a hold of our phone and made it glowy. And then we were like, Chloe, and then nothing. And it was like, thud, wake up. And we woke up and we've got a Cyndaquil, a Rowlet and an Oshawott kind of looking at us like, what is this? And we're like, ah. And this person's like, you're wearing funny clothes. Where the hell are you from anyway? Uh, do you know anyone? Uh, where are you going? Uh, come with me. Um, and then turns out the Pokemon that were there had gotten away from this dude. So he gave us 50 Pokeballs to go throw at them to try to catch them again. The devil's anus, yeah! <laughs> yep. I get you, Zen. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so we followed him, and turns out he's a Pokemon, he's a Pokemon professor, but... Um, <laughs> My nose is blocking It's okay, down. it's all right, you can blow At least I'm using a tissue. I know, but you didn't first. You wiped it on your arm and then needed to wipe your arm clean. I thought it was water on the edge of my nose. Okay, that's understandable, understandable. Um, and then... Uh, we caught the Pokemon and he's like, holy shit, you caught three Pokemon just like that. Three? Yep. Did yeah. you get to keep all three? No, they're oh. his. Um, so we wait, caught wait, them wait, and he's wait, like, wait, wait. what? So he owned three Pokemon, but they didn't have Pokeballs. No, they did, but they got out, like, they were just, they were running around and they escaped. So we had to go catch them again. But that's illegal. This is ancient Pokeballs. That's the Pokeballs illegal. are a recent invention. So they don't work the same way as what you think. Um, so we went and caught the three of them and he's like, holy fuck, how the fuck did you do that? Good Lord. No one can do that. That's amazing. You should join our galaxy team. So now you're part of team. Nope. 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 <laughs> um, the, the head of the, the captain is like, okay, then you'll have to pass our test. Then your test is catch three Pokemon. Been there, done that. Yes. But she wants to make sure that the professor's not bullshitting or exaggerating about what we're doing. What are you doing? Oh, Ben. Oh, fuck Ooh, there's a straw hole. Yeah, there's a a, I've got a straw. This other straws are in the kitchen. What? No, there are other small straws. We don't just have bubble tea straws. What are you? Oh my god, are you? I'm you off when it I have nails. You don't. I have nails. You don't. Stop it. It's open. <laughs> I swear to fucking god, if you spill milk all over my precious keyboard and shit, I'm gonna fucking hurt you. Anyway, back to the story. Uh, so, so she's like, so you got to catch three. And they're like, what? But no one's ever done that except this girl. So she can go do it again if that's actually a thing she can do. And then I was leaving and there was a merchant and his, ne I'm assuming it was a he. Um, he's got that very, was the Volo bro. Yeah, the Volo bro. Um, we did the battle and now we're here. All right, cool. Summary of last hour of gameplay. <laughs> Uh, this is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. You want a summary of my last hour of life? Drive. 
Not just drive. <laughs> Dodge idiots on motorway. Jazz and Siri's grand misadventure, more like it. Did Siri search you the room? Oh, because you crossed went to the story bridge three times. <laughs> <laughs> Could she not figure out where Bunnings was? No, we we got to Bunnings, no problem. It was getting from Bunnings to here. How did she get so confused? Well, first of all, like completely honest mistake. Driving along a road, and she tried to stick me on like the second busiest road in this city, with a stop sign preventing me from getting onto this road. So not not a set of traffic lights. So nobody gave a crap that I was trying to get onto this road. Yeah, of course. So I sat there for five minutes, and then went, "Fuck this!" Mm. And decided to go another way. Drove down to the Story Bridge, and then she was just like, "You should go the other way." I'm like, oh no. <laughs> well, this is gonna be fun. Oh dear. So yeah, we crossed that bridge three times. Um, I got to drive past a car accident the second time. Oh, shit. Just off of the bridge. So luckily it wasn't on the bridge. Oh, that would have shut really everything bad. down for literally hours, um, yeah. I, pa- I passed the worst driver that I've ever seen park up against a curb. Mm. She had, like, pure steel tire rims. And there wasn't a single square centimetre of that tyre rim that didn't have a gouge in it that was like half a centimetre deep. Like even even her tyres... Got a rash. Even her oh. tyres bore the damage of how many times she'd rammed a gutter. Yeah. Like that's just bad. Um, oh well, I mean, hey, that's the... If they can't learn how to do it, then they're going to have to deal with the damage on their car. Almost ran over a cyclist because he came out from behind a bush. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise cyclist! It's like, man! <laughs> uh, God spat you out of the sky. Correct. Correct. Requill, uh, hey, Fia, how do you get your switch on a monitor? Uh, an Elgato. Uh, Elgato HD... 60. There's also the 60S, which I think is the internal one, but I don't have that. I just used the external one because it was a fuckload cheaper when I got it, and I didn't want to take another PCI slot in my computer. Otherwise, you can just shove the HDMI cable in. Yeah, the, yeah, otherwise you can use the dock as it literally says in the dock's instruction manual. But in order to capture it on a PC for OBS, you need a capture card. But to put it on a screen, like to put it up on your TV or whatever, read the instructions. Like, it's literally everything you need to do it is included in the box for the Switch. Um, read the instructions. Uh, do you remember the Devil's Anus from Thor Ragnarok? Yeah, basically same thing. Not sure that script was 100% accurate. Close enough. Uh, Switch accepts HDMI output through the dock. Uh, pretty accurate synopsis. I thought so. Best catch-up narration ever. Thank you. She's pretty good at it. Thank you. Look, I uh, after you've been streaming for six years, you learn to kind of... This is true. ...summarize. Back to Can the story. Can I have a small mouthful of your milk? I want to try it. Thank you. Then back to story? Yeah, of course. Mate. It's not bad. It's pretty good. More caramel than chocolate. But not still bad. Pretty good. Yeah, still pretty good. It almost it has that kind of toasty sort of flavour to it as well. There we go. I like it. Oh. Oh well. Uh, now remember what you've got to do. You've been uh, you've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon: Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Can we kick the Bidoof from the party? No. I'm curious to see if the professors know you have a partner Pokemon, not a party. Wait, I'm one cu- single partner? What the heck do you do with the rest of them? You good give them question. to the professor to put them in the Pokedex. I'm curious to see if the professor's story about you are really true. Oh, professor, something wrong? That face, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Ray's wonderful. Uh, well, you see, Captain Celine got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. She doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, professor? More problems. To be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. Fierce talents are the real deal. She'll pass with flying colours, you'll see. So, in other words, I'm still the one bearing the responsibility here. Not my ideal state of affairs. Um. Engineers don't read manuals, our motto, then we fuck up because we didn't read the instructions. Look, I am the same. I quite often, I just kind of try to make it, like, see if I can figure it out. And then if after about two to three minutes, because I'm hella fucking impatient, if I can't figure it out, I'm like, where the fuck's that manual? And then I read it and figure it out very quickly. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. Let's just, let's just get started. You'll be more than equal to this here. He's got pizza feet. They look more like bread rolls. He's got bread roll feet. 
that are connected to each other because of the bow. Catch a Bidoof, the first Pokemon species you need for your trial. You teleported. So do you know how you catch Pokemon in this? Have you you seen throw them? a Pokeball at it? Yeah, but... Okay. Sure. D that's what I'm assuming. This is Aspiration Hell. I'm assuming it's pretty. Yeah, it is. Oh, where's Lightning Sky Butthole? Behind you, maybe? I have to find it and show you. Bidoof! Bidoof. Look, a Bidoof! We're finding the Pokemon you... Oh, fucking... Sometimes it does this where you don't actually get to skip through the stuff. It just does it on a timer. And I'm like, fuck! You may be some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what Captain Celine taught me. Hold down the ZL button to, ah, oh, to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. This technique comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. Bidoof is a mellow Pokemon, which means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach. Aim carefully, let your Pokeball fly, and you ought to be all right. Can we call it yellow? Calm and mellow yellow. <laughs> Where's Sky Butt Hole? Oh, it's gone. Maybe it's behind, like, the... the it's probably behind that the there. big fucking rock, yep. Yeah, because it's above a volcano. To the Bidoof! Or to the Ray, because the Bidoof is not near the Ray. Okay, not the Bidoof. Is it a Bidoof or a rock? It's a rock. It is absolutely just a rock. He's talking about the one... Oh, he's behind the camera anyway. <laughs> Look there, the just see, like, up up to this, on the little platform up the top, that's where, yep, okay. What do you want? Oh, nothing, okay. So. Focus on it. Oh, that's B, right. <laughs> that's just literally how you catch just Pokemon. peg the Pokeball at its face. Yep. Critical Correct. Catch. That's how you catch Pokemon. Literally. So you throw a Pokeball at it. Yep. One Bidoof. Caught. Now, on we march. And you know how we try to use the mouse on the screen out there with the um, the controller to try to get to the continue play button on Netflix? Oh, God, no. Yep. <laughs> it is Sad. terrible. It's to, in fact, do you want to catch the Starly? Hold up. Hold up. I just want to make sure he's, yeah, he's not going to say anything. One second. Now, Starly here, it's the type to run at the drop of a hat. Butthole! Yeah, except it's behind a tree. You can't see why it's a butthole. Uh, but not to worry, crouch down in the grass and it won't spot you. That's how you can get close. Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep into the tall grass while crouched low, you'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. It's really funny. So he runs directly at the Starly? No, the Starly's in the other direction. No, wait, look. Lightning Sky Butthole. Oh. Am I not wrong? Like, yeah, okay, I Jesus. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja. You can tilt the camera up with the. Um, okay, how does this work? Ooh. That was the focus Ooh. one. And then right trigger to get the Pokeballs up. Yep. And then right trigger again to throw it. Let, let go. Wait. There you go. <clears throat> and it can break out. What you're saying is aim some more at it. Okay. That's not just in, I was like, just don't run towards it just in case it breaks out so you're already in the grass. And that's Starly caught too. I admit I'm impressed so far. Well done. I caught a Pokemon. You did. Shanks! This one's going to attack me, I betcha. Probably. It's part of the tutorial, right? Mm-hmm. I forgot to share another smidgen of wisdom. How to throw your partner's Pokeball. Yes! I already figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> to quote Celine, Captain Celine's wise teachings, have an item at the ready but want to send out a Pokemon, press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready but want to throw an item, press X. Have a gold star, Jass. Nutty gives you a gold star for catching a Pokemon. Thank you. The captain's a real expert on these things. Oh, it's an apricot. Then, once you've got a Pokemon ready, try aiming for certain rocks or trees like this one. Your Pokemon will hunt for berries and things, and it'll bring back whatever it finds? Oh, fucking yes. Make the b do it. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. I have a better idea. Make the b do it. Hang on. That's so we're pressing X, and you want me to send b -doof. Yeah? Yeah. Oh god, holding this down and then pressing R as well is a pain in the ass. That's why you use this one for ZR. 
Uh, no, you don't pull triggers with your middle finger. That's gross. Oh, he leveled up. Cool. What did I get, though? I don't know. <laughs> you got some orange berries. Which I don't know why they're not orange, because they've got the pitting in the skin like an orange, and it's called orin, which is literally like orange. Because this is an earth fear. <sighs> I guess with this very near wild Pokemon to draw their attention. Good. All right. So have to attract. Um, who dat? There it is, Shinx. Bum, bum, bum. Also, they think Pokemon are terrifying. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Did you know that already? Butthole! Sorry. Um, yes. yes what? <laughs> I know it's got an aggressive disposition. <laughs> that figures. Me, I have to focus on a Pokemon carefully to notice a thing like that. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll knock away any balls you throw. When you use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows you see pointing up above a Pokemon, the easier it'll be to catch. Uh, an X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it has picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. New plan, engage you in battle anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but not to worry, I'll teach you the trick to catching them. You draw them into battle. Once it's caught up in the heat of battle, you can throw a Pokeball to try and catch it. Uh, I've got a few Pokemon of your... You've got a few Pokemon of your own to use now, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it at a wild Pokemon you want to battle. Use what you learned in your battle with Volo. Get out there and make your last catch. And you can send out multiple Pokemon to collect multiple materials at once while you keep running. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Upset. That's awesome. It's easy to start a battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your own Pokemon at it. If you can see that you currently have an item ready to throw, if not a Pokemon, press the X button. It will allow you to toggle between your thrown items and your Pokemon team. Hey, Casey, how are you going today? Hope you're having a lovely day. I want you to try something. What? Tap Elora. You don't need to be holding down the trigger. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Who's dead? Ah, <laughs> ah that, oh, shit. That, that. How'd I do that? <laughs> Fuck. Bum, Fuck. Bum, bum, bum. This one. It, it's a steam-powered Pokeball? Cool. What else is gonna, like, they haven't captured lightning yet. Wait, did you really? You really did! You did it! That's three species of Pokemon caught. You really are some kind of prodigy. No, honey, I've just been doing this for over a fucking decade. <laughs> you must have given Professor Lavender the shock of his life. First you fall from the sky, then you go and catch all of our escape Pokemon one after the other. I honestly didn't think the professor's story until I saw- I didn't believe the professor's story until I saw you in action for myself. Follow you on Twitch? Thank you, Casey. Much appreciated. Uh, and here you are with three Pokemon. Court, you've completed your trial. Four, four Pokemon. There's four in the party. Yeah, but I didn't catch one of them. Well, I did technically, but earlier. There's a picnic basket. Picnic basket. <laughs> Oh ho, I said you passed the trial with flying colours, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Sphere. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Has pictures. Oh, not of me? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> got to admit it's true. You've got real talent for this. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Silane. Uh, oh, it's time to head back to Jubilife Village, hey? Yes. Did you realize that's where we were before? Yes. Okay, good. Oh, I yeah, mean, you've what done other the village reading. are you going to be at? You did all the reading, didn't you? Look, it's the lightning butthole load screen. Load load icon. It's behind the um, battle thing, though, unfortunately. We have teleported again. Eventually, you should be able to have Pokemon you've caught go live in the, go live in the village pastures when you've been a Twitch streamer for six fucking years. <laughs> The most Pokemon a person can have with them while out exploring is six, apparently. Not that we have anyone who can manage that. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Celine waits our report at headquarters. Stray a mate indeed. Well done, Jammer. Good job. <laughs> Can't wait to see the captain's reaction. 
Well, at least it makes sense that all these team galactic plebs have shit for <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> They're all scared of them, right? <laughs> well, they are at this point. This is like hundreds of years ago, right? Yes. They, they fucking get used to it, I'm sure. Mm. Especially considering that they employ them to like build half of their places and stuff now too. Like, you know? Abra. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Oh yeah, she kept saying that um, if I failed that I'd have to be expelled from the village and I'd probably die. It's a female Cyrus. Yes. Anyway. Congratulations. You've passed your trial, you can hold on to that satchel. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Bonk. Apparently it's invisible. You received a Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. I don't really want to wear the sandals though. Get changed in the room you used last night, then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Get dressed is my official order. Okay, I'll take it. Stop looking like you're from somewhere else, dang it. <laughs> what is this t-shirt you speak of? This is my hut. Yep, it's yours all right. Time to put on your Survey Corps uniform and Survey Corps sandals. You can wear hats! Doesn't look that, that bad. Those look ugly though. They're ridiculous, <laughs> but I guess I get new shit later. Ooh, you can change your colors. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. Slightly closer to. Ooh, Ultramarine. Lavender eyes, poppy red! Vampire fear. Done. Finish changing. Yes. <laughs> First complete, change back the sandals. Vampire fear! Hey, I tried. Get dressed and talk to someone. Don't know if I could do that. I mean, look. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like fun. Look at you in the Survey Corps uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. No mention of my changed eye color at all. Uh, but I do wonder when the captain decided to go ahead and get a uniform ready for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. A hat. It's a hanky. <laughs> That's the same as all the kids use when they're like Galaxy team members in the other games, yeah? No. Don't they wear bandanas like the the scout, like the low ranking ones do? No. I feel like you're lying to fuck with. They me. all have bowl cuts. Like literally all of them. Which there is another team that has the hankies like that. Yeah, that's, their heads. that's the, the bandanas. Team. Sorry. That's the Alolan team, I believe. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Well, maybe well I'm not remembering completely the Gen wrong. Eight team. I'm not sure. Sword and Shield. Yeah, maybe. I mean, that is probably. Oh no, we we played Pokemon with Diamond a little bit. Um, anyway. uh, is this multiplayer? N no idea. Not at this point. Uh, not at this point, it's an RPG. Um, I'm maybe, ha oh, I'd have to check the Nintendo store to see if it's flagged as having mu uh, multiple players later on down the track. Have you got your phone on you? Yes. Can you check on the internet? Cause... Just chat. Oh, oh, okay. A lot of little baddies that wear them, don't remember which one. Single player game, though you can trade, not that you need to. So there's no multiplayer interaction later on at all. That's really interesting. They really are trying a different style of game and I, I kind of like that. Uh, now present yourself to the commander. Third floor. I, I think I prefer having her hair down. I'll fix it later. Now you just need a vacuum cleaner. Why? Luigi's mentioned. Luigi's Mansion. Oh, um, I don't, I've never played Luigi's Mansion. Really? Yeah. Mustache, I have been waiting for you. That's Professor Rowan. Yes. 
starburns. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. He has starburns. Do you remember from Community? Mm. The guy who shaved oh, his yeah. sideburns into star shape? He's starburns. Hmm, so you are Fia. No. Yes, sir. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> epic necromancer placed. Love those dudes. Um, I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Show me what you're made of. If this guy doesn't use ghost type Pokemon, I'd be very Face me in combat. Sick. Try to throw him. Charge at him. Charge at him. Yeah. <laughs> huh? You've got vigor. I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. <laughs> he threw me across the room! Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're a part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex! But I warn you, Fear, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. They're so cute and fluffy. But they're evil. Entry trial complete. Battle. I know there's a battle. I'm waiting for like the next bit to like the next chunk of fucking this. Wendy's. That's the brand sticker for my screen. There's one on the other one as well. All How right. have I never noticed that? I don't know. I guess you've never been bored with the game before? Are you bored? No. Who <laughs> <laughs> Amber? I pointed it out before. Good God. Uh. Mr. Burns. Sorry? Where's this necro necromancer? There it is. Yeah, it's the newest uh newest thingy. I think it launched like today or yesterday with dungeons. So many little minions. That's pretty cute. It's a Melvin! <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, and it's out of the dead like enemies. That's awesome. That's awesome. Na, 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 na. What's the Melvin sound command? Me. Hey, we're gonna win. Eh. Poor Kuma, she's gonna solo everything. Look, it's my chef leg Even there. though I'm not exactly sure what the guys in the bottom <laughs> are doing. They're trying. They're trying. Congratulations to 2STB, Fairy, Death, Cade, Zam, Oz, Pulse, Durand, Louis on your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, who got skins? It's an eyeball. Like, I will ooze stuff. Tell me who got skins. I would love to know what you got. I can place my Buzuku, and that should get me enough scrolls to actually level it to 29 as well. Ta-da! So I'm going to turn in my Berserker waste. 
I'm gonna upgrade my Berserker. And I'll jump back in here. Okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> right, Retro Mage Skin, congratulations, Doe. Well done. Alright, so the commander has also accepted you. The shit ton of scrolls, yas. <sighs> but understand this. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps and you will move up through the ranks. I am pronouncing that right, aren't I? It's not corpse. It's core. It's yeah. Core. Cool. Indeed. You see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And by working on the Pokedex will also, of and working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer toward that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. You obtained a recipe for crafting Pokeballs. Do, 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 do. One Apricorn and one Tumblestone. So you need a rock? <laughs> yep. Okay. I'm guessing you use the rock to like cut it open or something. I don't know. And three thousand Poke Dollars as well. You will have to buy that. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Hey, there's literally an apricorn tree right outside the village. <laughs> That's a berry tree. There's probably an apricorn tree right outside the village. Ray, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Yes, ma'am, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting means making items from scratch. Can I throw a rock at him? That's... No. I like Ray. That's right. Whatever you need in your survey work, you'll mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. This way, we can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. But listen to me prattle on. Let's go to the craft work so you can try it out yourself. Activate guide. Ba -bum, ba -bum. $30. Woo! Yeah, pretty much right. Well, it's not $30. You gotta go back a couple of hundred years. It's probably a lot more. No, I know, but it's like, because it's basically the equivalent of yen, but they don't have cents. So it's 3,000 cents, which is dollars. So like $30, yeah. you know? I, I understand where the conversion's going from. Uh, well done, earning a place in our team. My name is Anth. I'm the local cloth here. Go on to her. <laughs> the professor clothes. asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. Get some new threads. An everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. No everyday sandals? I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. Alright, so go beat up some children and steal their money. And then we go shopping. No battles. No trainer battles. There are no trainers. Pokemon trainers don't exist. You don't have to beat them up with a Pokemon. Kestereth! <laughs> 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 no! Don't be a nasty! Don't do that! It's a common trope of Pokemon! Beat no up the children! No bullying! <laughs> hey, hey! This way to the craftworks! Oh my god, you're such a bully. Good lord. How else are you supposed to get money in a Pokemon game? Go forage for berries and then sell the berries. That sounds like extra effort. And, and getting active enough to harm another person isn't it's effort? probably got more money on it than a very sells for. <laughs> Here's the craft works, and that there is the workbench. It's where you craft things. Pretty self-explanatory, right? <laughs> yeah, you kind of men. Oh, it wasn't it. a picnic. <laughs> it's not a picnic to a basket. When you step up to the workbench, I'll supply you materials to make some Pokeballs. Call it a present to celebrate passing your trial. And as for the money the captain gave you, feel free to spend that however you like. Any Me recipes first. you get should tell you what materials you need to complete them. At the workbench, just choose what you want to make and get crafting. Go on, try it out. You can use the workbenches in Jubilee Village and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. I like how this handles money. Look. Cool. So we need craft. Oh. I was kind of hoping for some kind of mini game. That's okay. You can make another 19. Yeah, you made a Pokeball. You put it in your satchel. Ta -da! Done. <clears throat> oh ho, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this is your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are! It's a notebook. It has to be a notebook. 
It's a fucking notebook. Yes! A volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Professor Lavington continually adds to it with each report made on a new Pokemon species. It's a it's a goddamn this it's a scrapbook. It's a scrapbook. Look at this beautiful piece of paper. It's I'm got a no rose in it, too. Yeah, because it's how that's how fancy scrapbooks have closures. Oh, it's such a fancy scrapbook that there's already stuff poking out of it and you haven't put a single entry in it yet. No, we have. We've got scene seven, court four. Open it. Tasks with unreported data. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. Tasks with unreported data. How do I report the data? I don't know. Maybe you're about to be told that. You've seen a Togepi? Yeah, in the battle with Volo. Oh. <clears throat> Investigated the doof that bothered the village. Cool. Yeah, this is this is actually really freaking. I cool. like the fact that there's challenges to do things. Yeah, like see you see it use draining kiss twenty five times. Like that's that's cool. Really freaking. Oh no. I'm feeling the Shinx has a regional system. form? Where? What? Number of different forms you've obtained. Oh, yeah. There's two forms. Yeah. I um, I have the completionist itch. That's Stop fine. Let's go find the regional Shinx. <laughs> All right, let's go. Go find the Shinx. It's no, it's like, correct, Kaz, ATT. Find but me no, the... no, 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 no. We haven't fucking finished Pokemon Snap yet. That's fine. Find the regional <laughs> Shinx. <laughs> It'll be cute. Okay, all right. And maybe a dark type. Dark type Shinx. You put, so Lucario is one of Jazz's favorite Pokemon. In fact, dark possibly the favorite. Is it your favorite Pokemon? Yeah, probably. Yeah. The dark type Shinx. That's why when I saw the three, the Bidoof, the Starly, and the Shinx, when they said it the first time, when I saw Shinx, I'm like, ah, yeah, when's Jazz getting home? Because I knew he'd be happy about it. How do we report the data, though? This is what's Get annoying. out of that, and maybe they'll tell you. Yeah, fair. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out. Oh, aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon that are in this grand region. It'll take plenty of research tasks to help the professor complete the Pokedex. I've got to get going on those myself. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research task I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands camp whenever you are ready, my good fear. Activate guide. Get writing, people. Yas. That just means male and female guys. Sorry to burst your bubble. Yeah, that's fair. Not that's a stupid. regional form. <laughs> the, no, but it's the yeah, Shinx doesn't right. have variations between male and female. That's why it's stupid. Doesn't it? Nope. What say you to that upset coffee? <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I like. I look. I my first game was Pokemon Red. So, look, the, the newer stuff I'm not super up to date with, uh, and I cannot for the life of me remember any of it, really. Like, I'll see something and go, oh, that's that Pokemon, but that's kind of that's kind of it. So, um, oh, in terms of, like, different forms and shit, I don't remember. Uh, Shinx doesn't do sexual dimorphism. Uh, if you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? From Beauregard. I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. People who have something to ask you will have a request icon displayed above them. Quests. Side quests. Uh, if you fulfill their request, you may receive a nice reward. Is it an exclamation mark? No, it's just a, a thing on the head. Okay. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Laventon, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience, through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Oh, look at that screenshot. That's beautiful. Uh, some Pokemon can oh. undergo evolution, which changes their appearance and stats. If one of your Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you'll be able to select the evolve option when viewing the Pokemon in your satchel. So That's I was cool. wrong. Shinx does have sexual dimorphism. Pretty. That's that's one, and that's the other. You see the difference. No tail. 
Aside from no tail. <laughs> it actually has a tail for both. Dot nose. Straight line nose. That's the oh. only difference. Oh well. I mean, they have, uh, they made them different sizes in this, so maybe there's a gender difference in this. No, there is. There, there is one. It's just the sh literally the shape of its nose, if it's a circle or if it's a line. This has got two servings per cut. Yeah, most of them do. It's 500 mil box. 600 mil box. It's a lot of sugar. Oh, well. <laughs> and so I decided I want to raise a wormple myself and have it evolve. You're a part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? So if you catch a wormple, could you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just get me a wormple if you can. Give money. It might give me a different Pokemon. Give money. <clears throat> You're that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have to uh, must have to get out and about, and about to compile that Pokedex book they're working on, right? Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Hang on. Does, does that mean like 100% of it? Yeah, that's a really good question. Must be. Chop person. It can't be all the way complete, because that's going to take- Maybe you just need to tick off each of the things. Anyway, shop person. What shop person? That one. This one. Ah. Uh. So he sells Pokeballs, revised. What the heck is that? Cake Lure Base, a type of field provision that enhances the flavor of other foods mixed with. Of course, because when you mix cake with things, it makes it more delicious. All the rice, what are you on about? I said Cake Lure. Shop person. Hairstyling. Oh, I paid it already. I thought I got to have the look before I made. It. they made me pay, but apparently not. Well... That sucks. Mm. Me. That's what I started with, mm -hmm. and I like that. What's, what else is there? No. That's cute. I wish I could do that kind of shit with my own hair. I have no skill. Guys. Well, it's as close to red as you're getting at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Hit fair. Well, Done. on the positive note, it wasn't a waste of 500. No, it was not. Hello, Kay. Hello, nurse. Do you want me to tell you? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, upset. I I know that I I talk like streaming for six years. I've learned to fill silence by just letting like stream of consciousness come out of my mouth while I'm streaming. Um. So often I'll say things and ask questions and stuff like that that are absolutely 100% like hypothetical or just me thinking aloud. If if we need help or whatever, because I'm very anti spoiler. But if I need, do you want to put that bit in here? Um, if I, if I, if I do need help with something, I will very directly ask, like, I need help. Somebody please tell me what is this thing, uh, and go from there. But thank you so much for asking first. I really appreciate that. That's like amazing. Amazing. All done now. Why you look simply wonderful. Damn okay, straight. All right. Thank you for coming in today. Take care not to leave anything behind. I'm not like I have an option. Yeah. Uh, yes, I can check through shit. Here we go. Fear has red hair. Happy! <clears throat> I know Shinx's ears had odd markings on the insides, but what were they? No use. I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? 
I've got to see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. They look like Shinx's ears. I can... Yes, I do have one of those Shinx to show you. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, that's why I asked. Thank you. You're amazing. You're amazing. Alrighty, let's have a peek at the at these round ears. That's it. Its ears its ears have that yellow cross pattern on them, kinda like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat, only the throat's my brain and the bones are thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. <laughs> oh, potions. Tasty. Tucked in shopkeeper. Not why? Cause she's got new threads. A special parcel has arrived with your name on it. See? Package. Okay. Modern jacket, modern trousers, modern shoes. What a precious gift. Please take good care of such fine attire. Do you wanna get changed? No, you wanna see other stuff. See the other stuff. <laughs> Jas likes shopping. Package. What? <laughs> oh, because the pre-order pre bonuses. <laughs> shaman fancy kimono and a shaman fit. Wait, does this mean that you won't get them if you start a game? Fuck the phone. Who cares? Package. <laughs> Package. <laughs> <laughs> mask. Pikachu festival mask and an Eevee festival mask. Oh, no, that's because we have this register of yeah. me playing Pokemon. Go um, uh, let's go. Yep. Package. <laughs> no, here at the Clothier, you can purchase new clothing items such as kimonos or shoes. What can I help you with, hun? Buy a clothing. Gosh, Shinx is so fucking cute. Agreed. Look. Uh, they're pre-order bonuses. Yes. Um, they, I think it was like 30 heavy balls. And um, then there stuff. are... there. Are, no, no, the outfits and stuff are if you have other Pokemon games. So if there is a log of your Switch account playing Let's Go, then you get those Pikachu and Eevee masks. Uh, and if you if there's a register of you playing sword or shield, you get a thing. And then if if there's a register of you playing shining diamond or no, other way around, brilliant diamond, <laughs> shining pearl, then you get a, a thing as well. And because I've played all three of those, I got all three bonuses. I'm pretty sure the pre-order bonus was just the heavy balls, which Hat. is a wonderful quote in and of itself. Um, hat. Other hat. More hat. Do they come in anything but flat? Some nice colours though. That's nice, but do they Woven ooh. hat. Yes. <laughs> Lantern hat. There's a headband. Fighting type hat. Headband, headband. There's also something on the front of the headband that your fringe completely blocks. Can I? Go down one more. No, there's not. Go down to any other colour, please. There you go. Oh, there is two. <laughs> it's <Okay>. yellow. <laughs> it's a yellow thing on all of them. That's all of them, though, so. Uh, every day, you Kimono. Have... Oh, wait. It's probably in a dark slate. Crimson. Daffodil. Pine. It's a really nice shade of green. Sapphire. Tangerine. Indigo. Amethyst. Blue spruce. And ochre. Watcher. Next. And pants. then it's pants. They all just look fucking identical. Uh, in all the same colours. Cool. Interesting. It's like a whole ass outfit. But again, they're all in the same colours. Oh no, expert. Oh, because it's black belt. Get it? By the sun well. Holy, thank you so much for your Prime Gaming sub and your 34 months of support. Mother of fucking Christ. I'm going to flip-flop you in a second. Japanese flip-flops. <laughs> Sandals. Oh, excuse me. Oh, the things. Yes. How are you enjoying Pokemon Arceus so far? So much. I'm really enjoying it. We're shopping. It. Yeah. For absolutely nothing, but... Sandals, but nice. they're all the same. Zori sandals, so they're not, like, up on platforms. Hmm. Flat. Flat sandals. Sunnies. Eyeglasses in all of the regular colors. All right, I need to know. I need to not do that. I want to see to what we actually colors. have exactly. I like what she's wearing. Can I have that? No. 
<laughs> you have a Pikachu hat. It's a mask. You have a Pikachu hat. And then Eevee! Eevee? Um, we're gonna put back though, because it's not exactly my style. Modern jacket! <laughs> it's in nickel, so it's like a grey colour. Fancy kimono. Ooh, Ooh, that's cool. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Let's keep that one. Yeah. Oh. Those kind of suck. <laughs> they suck with like. the shoes. All right, that's fair. What do the modern trousers look like? Me. Mm -hmm. Back to. I think I need every day. Yeah, but I think I need ones in white to match the. Or black. Black would work too. No. Yes. No, because that's black, and that's not. I don't. Mm -mm. But it's got weird ribbing. Yeah, but still, I, I don't think the color. I think it needs to be like light, right? Like top All to right, bottom. That's fair. Um, shoes. The modern shoes aren't too bad, actually. No, they're not. But they don't really match. And. <laughs> So I'm going to finish changing, but then we're going to buy some shit from her. Do visit my humble shop. Because I look ridiculous. You dressed yourself. I know, so I didn't have the items. But yeah, see, the everyday trousers have this black bit at the bottom, though, as well. That's the unfortunate bit. And they don't have green ones. Like, gr like that bright neon green would be super nice. The crimson's pretty good. I don't have pink either. The crimson's pretty good. Uh, it clashes a little with the pink. And they're also a fucking thousand. All of these are one thousand. Stop being cheap! <laughs> it's how you win Pokemon, you be cheap. We're gonna we're gonna wear the shaman pants. Not with those fucking shoes, though. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what do the survey goss sandals look like? They're the big chunky ones. I was really hoping it didn't have the stop halfway up your legs. No, that's part, yeah, it's part of the shoes. Oh, no. It's fine. Let's go. Okay. It's right. only a minor sin. <laughs> I don't like the ones that are up on platforms, but... Flip-flops! I can't be fucking wearing this shit if I'm running around, like, trying to get Pokemon, no. Well, yes, we're done shopping. Plus, 14 fucking hundred... Flip-flops! Fucking flip-flop, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah! Alright, we, go. we got our runners. That's a ponytail. I was about to say, is that a fucking unicorn? But yeah, of course it's a Punisher. He was talking kind of cute. I know. Shopping! No fun. I know. I'm the no funnerist. She is fun policing me, guys. <laughs> no, I just want to play the game and not shop for six hours. Shopping is part of the game. Look at my ridiculous calves out on display. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my girl. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number and variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokedex, then check what kinds of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you have registered. When you focused on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research tasks for that species by pressing the down button to open your Pokedex right to that page. Some Pokemon have some unusual research tasks, so be sure to check them out. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Like clothes? Maybe. Get a starly jacket or something. Uh, now there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share for you. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time when they do dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? <laughs> Look, just watch me, would you? Then you'll be able to copy what I do. Here I go! It's 
Spin the ray! Ninja. See, that's how you dodge. A timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by the fierce attacks of wild Pokemon. Excuse me, and that's key if you'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. When those shinks got me with Thundershock, I might have been done for if the security corps hadn't come and saved me. But hey, no need to worry, you've got me here to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. Alright, let's do a combat roll in your nice white kimono. Look, the grass stains will go in with the green trim. Oh, well, shame in the grass type, nothing wrong with that. Oh, tree. Dodge! Oh, berries in huh? Tree. Are there actually berries in it? Can you see them from here? Yes. Get ready for some survey core wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press the down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. The tutorial Bidoof. already told <laughs> you that. Did you see that your research tasks for Bidoof include one about how many you've caught? That's right, catching just one won't do it. You've got to get two, then four, then more and more. It's like a terrible poem. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want, I'll go on ahead. Throw a Pokemon into tree. Not that tree. Which tree? This tree. That tree with the berries in it. <laughs> you have five apricots. Good job, Shanks. Down. Heavy specimens. You Catch call. the fat Bidoof. Number you've evolved. What, so why do some of them have arrows on them? Like the double up arrows. We'll figure that out, I'm sure. Mm. Maybe they get you stuff. Maybe. Time to battle a Bidoof. Bum, bum. Ba battle. There's a task to battle him. Yeah, there's also a task to catch him. You can battle it, then catch it. Yeah, true. Besides, he's angry. <laughs> You caught Bidoof unawares, because I bonked him in the butt with a Pokeball. That's a lot of fire. Yeah. The Cyndaquil is more than half fire. He's angry. Ember. We have to do do we have to do a quick attack, don't we? Both. Do them both. I need to actually see it quick attack X number of times though, is the there's you one of the research. To see it Ember. I thought it was deep that. flame or something. Mm. Bonk. My more or that kill it? Nah, one more. Bidoof sucks at fighting. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I mean, it might be a Bidoof, but like, seriously, fight back! <laughs> the Bidoof dropped an aura berry. Da 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 dim! Times you see the use quick attack, 6 out of 10, plus 2 others. Told you it was both. Oh, there is an ember. You're right. I'm so sorry. I saw flame wheel. I didn't see the one above quick attack. My bad. My bad. No, I'll just continuously quick attack until we hit that 15, I guess. Yep, and then switch to ember. <laughs> it was not a heavy one. Now you've got two beedoof. Um, so what's my... That's not what I'm looking for. I'm. Oh, I think it's my map. Yeah. So I've got missions and requests. Um. We gotta catch a wumpo. Hmm. I don't know if I can get one, and I get dazzling honey for it. Oh God, we should follow Ray. Oh, I have to follow Ray. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Well, he's over there. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Before we kill some beetles. Different type of battle. Probably much more observant, but have ever had instructions that are like northwest of the Abbey, missing out the word castle. There being castle northwest of the Abbey. Look, occasionally, yeah. Occasionally, yeah. 
if I get really confused, I always, the first thing I always do is go back and like really read um, what I'm doing rather than just skimming over it like I did the first time. It usually fixes it. All good? Yep. Oh gosh, excuse me. Okay, we obliterated that. 235 allies remaining. Mother of fuck. Congratulations to Kay, Cade, Spam, Vu, Neke, and Louis on your bonus. Shit! Well done. Let's go the mystery one. Alright, here we go. Foy! Oh, they're all the way over there. Oh, look! I can look! <gasps> what the? Oh my it's god! Using, oh no. What? It's using rollout. You need to swap. If I what? You, it's using rollout. You need to swap. Or Cinderpill dies. Oh. Uh... Which one? Uh, roll out a rock type move, so we do. <clears throat> There's a fair chance it one shots this B doof, but hey, Syndicate doesn't it though. Yeah, it looked around. B -doof. <laughs> Get it with his own move. Spin the B doof. Oh. Our beater flipped around. Um, okay, I'm gonna try throwing a Pokeball at it. But why? Because it was on low enough health that it would have died. She's but a flesh wound. Oh, but I wanna catch it. But why? You've now got three beaters. Yeah, I need to catch Ooh. fucking how many? A spoiled apricot. It's got a it's got an exclamation. exclamation I think it's because it's new and I haven't seen it before, baby. I don't care, let's look at it. Apricorn that's had its insides eaten, hitting a Pokemon with one may stun the Pokemon, creating an opening for you to act. Cool. So it's basically a rock. Mm. Got it. Yeah, so you got to catch 25 of them. Seven of those need to be heavy. How about looking for quick attacks so far? Maybe the heavy ones are bigger. I would say so, yeah. Um... Root. Also tree. Oh. Medicinal leak. I think I pointed it at not that tree. <laughs> it's a bee doof. Yeah, it is. That tree. <laughs> bee doof is like, what am I doing? What? That was cute. <laughs> It amuses me that the Pokemon just know why you're throwing them at the tree. tree. Yeah, yeah, but also Ray. Stuff him, tree. That's interesting when they go see through. I know I'm laying it on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research task for it. You just hold ZL and press down. Try checking your tasks for Starly next. We threw him at a tree? No, he's not a Pokemon. One of your tasks is to catch, catch Starly without being spotted, right? You can get that done if you hide in some tall grass to catch him. Give it a try. Oh, we're about to find out what happens when you go over the cap. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you finish some tasks. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Be used to crouch. Nobody you've caught without being spotted. Um. You missed. Yeah, I didn't hold it down properly. Can I go collect the one I accidentally dropped? That'd be a no. Got a two. I'm a shinx! Yeah. That's where they are, down the further. Look, a tree. Mm. I know, I'm, that's where I'm headed. Stuff. Things. 
Pokemons. It is I who is in the long grass now. Shinks over there, see? Yeah. Also, your shrinks just hit level six. Yep. What is that? That's what? I think I saw a funny root over here. Or did it just been us playing trick on Do you see it? No. Look at Starly. Bless you. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh no. It broke out. Now it's running away. That's okay. I mean, wouldn't you get frightened if you were forcibly shrunk down and without noticing? Sounds like a startling problem. Your bonus shit indeed, Nike. Last starly that you caught was a, like one, one uh, arrow. Yeah, catch, um, the more it? arrows they have, the easier they are to catch. Yeah, yeah, but like it differentiates even within this same species. Yeah. Wait, oh. Paul. <laughs> catch him. That was just force beautiful. him into the pokeball. Might be a sheep. <laughs> force it into the pokeball. Force them. Force them into the pokeball. <clears throat> Yay! New one! Check the Pokedex entry. Number of light specimens you've caused. Number you caught without being spotted. Defeated. Seen it use poison sting and evolved. Cool! You gotta evolve three of them. I wonder how you get the different one point. Hmm. Wumpoo! Don't get spotted. But yeah, it depends on like if they're facing in the same direction as you, if they're distracted, if they're like defensive, um, and it gets to the point where it'll have no arrows at all and it'll have a little exclamation mark, which means it cannot be caught because it's aggressive, and it, the only way to catch it is to get it in battle. That was our first Shinx, remember? You could have caught the Shinx without getting it in battle. Yeah, but we were supposed to for the tutorial, so... Tis what it is. Screw the tutorial. I'm here to make money. Apparently. Dunk. Hey, Shadow, how you going? Got it. Ta-da! Um, I should probably go meet Ray before I run out of Pokeballs. Maybe. Aren't I know. Berries. Yeah, he's to growth back above half HP. And now level 8. <clears throat> there are a lot of these dudes in red around. Um, yeah, I think they're the ones who, like, if you black out, they're the ones who are going to come to save you. Hey, there's, there's a crystal. Yeah, there is. And a fucking... whatever the fuck that is. It's yeah, a weasel! It's a weasel! Galaxy member. You should have your Pokemon smash open sparkling rocks for you. You'll find tumble stones inside. Same tumble stones you need to craft Pokeballs. So. Throw the Bidoof at the rock. I want to see if you can do it with or anything or if it's just. 
Any Pokemon will do it. Cool. What? <laughs> Where did you even come from? Hello. <laughs> Working on some Valerian. Oh, fantastic, Shadow. Congratulations for when you get there, because you will. It's great fun, that one. Uh, around here, you can find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. <clears throat> that means it'll try to hit you with its moves just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. Uh, if you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. If you take further damage after the edges of the screen have turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. And speaking of which, your research tasks for Buizel include seeing it use a certain move. you got to see the move in battle for it to count toward that task. So battling is extra key here. Oh, I need three more shards for it. All them in the Spire's dungeon. Yeah, they're not difficult to get though. You and you, I'm pretty sure you can get them on a normal dungeon as well. So like, best bet would probably be to jump in with like a normal group and then clear it super fast. And you can go back and grab anything that you missed. I'm uh, I'm going on ahead. Come catch up once you've checked off some of Weasel's tasks. I can see myself accidentally sitting up in bed with the switch until like three in the morning doing research tasks, which is really bad because I am so far behind on life in general at the moment. So what you're saying <clears throat> is take the switch away from you and lock it up. <laughs> no, I'm an adult. It's mine. I have some, you know, self-control. I can, I can figure it out. Oh <laughs> shit. Did you go to Aldi? Yes. I was going to fucking tell you to grab some microwave meals from Aldi's for us to have to dinner tonight so that you can keep sitting here and playing so you don't have to go, like, make dinner or any bullshit. I'm so sorry. I should have I should have messaged you. Should have made bubble tea, too, if that was going to be the idea. Oh, yeah. Well, bubble tea doesn't take as long as, like, cooking dinner, though. Yeah, it does. Does it really? It takes, like, ten minutes. Oh. I do it right. Yeah, fair. Okay. I can do it quicker than that, but I have a bit more Gotta do it here. right. <laughs> Jinx. Oh, wow, I can see me for it. Oh, Shinx. Oh, no. It's also Shinx at. Yeah, I'm get. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Shit, what do I need to see from Shinx? Good question. Can I see from here? It says check summary, but can I... Does summary include... What is the one down the bottom there? This one. No idea. Hang on, good back. What the fuck? What? That is a lot of points. Level 7 Shinx doesn't have the... Why what? isn't it attack down Shinx? What? How do we always get this unlucky with nature? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> as long as I get the game done. I don't care. I'm going to assume it wants to see me use quick attack. Thundershock. But also... A thundershock, so let's go with that. I don't want to kill it though. Thundershock had a pin thing. Hmm. A what? Go back into the moves that don't use one. It's got a little pin thing. Yeah, that's super effective. And the other one's just effective. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, throw a Pokeball. Let's do this. Stop fucking playing with the foot thing. No, no, I need to help with posture. Like. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's a lot easier now that you can fly. Agreed. Those shards were so challenging without flying. Uh, yeah, Jas and I went and got it in like week two, week one. And it was, look, hey, being Venthyr fucking helped. Venthyr and Demon Hunter had a huge heads up on those. Sorry? Just check the Pokedex. I will check the Pokedex. Oh, by the way, what mount do you think I did my makeup? Pikachu. Pikachu is not a mount. No, oh, quick attack. No thundershot. God damn it. Mm, number of times you've defeated with electric type moves. Well then. <laughs> Time to zap them all. I gotta zap them all. Okay, mans. I need more fucking pokeballs. Leak. Oh, what is that? Eve. Oh. That's... Not. I need more Pokeballs before I do that shit. Shiny Rook. 
We shiny have, rock. We have returned to... Ooh, shiny rock. Ooh, shiny rock. Ooh, shiny rock. I do need those, though, because I need to make so many more fucking Pokeballs. That's why I'm putting them out. Weasel. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to attack them because my Shinx is half dead, so... Bless you. You right? There are more there. You don't have to reuse the same one if you don't anyway. want to. Well, if you land the Shinx before the Buizel notices, you get first move, right? I think so. But, um... Tree. Orenberry tree. There is another way you can work this. Work what? Feed your Shinx a potion. Yeah. But I kind of also just want to get more fucking Pokeballs so I can keep catching shit for now. I want to finish this bullshit. Africa country. I do like that throwing them at trees gets them experience. <laughs> like Headbutt the tree, Shinx. Fucking hilarious. Oh, lots of Africa countries. I reckon this is when he's going to tell us about throwing Pokemon at trees. He, he already hasn't told, told you about oh, throwing he? Pokemon at trees. Oh. But hey, he has repeated a couple of the tutorials already. I mean, it is not exactly a game aimed at adults. You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. Um, you did normal LFG dungeon group for Necro Wake? Yeah. Man, Monster Hunter Rise looking slick. <laughs> Just got Greedfall on Steam today as well. Well done. Well done. Can you fist fight the wild pokes? You can't, but they can fist fight you. And it hurts. So... Work for me, Pokemon gets XP. Yeah, pretty much. Um, where are we going? Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Oh, thank fuck for that. A kit containing everything you might need for crafting, even when there is no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. You can select the crafting kit from the key items pocket in your satchel to craft items wherever and whenever you like. However, unlike at a workbench, you'll only be able to use the materials in your satchel and you won't be able to craft more items than your satchel can hold. And here's a recipe for potions too. I am never going to use it. Actually, maybe I might. That's a pretty basic recipe. One orange berry and one medicinal leek. That's unfair. It, it most certainly is. Uh, with a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using whatever materials are in your satchel. So long as you've got an apricorn and a tumblestone, you can make a Pokeball anytime. Or with an orange berry and a medicinal leak, you can whip up a potion. So heal up your Pokemon whenever they need healing. You eat. Yeah, probs. Research going all right. You can see if you've got tasks ready to turn in on the Pokedex's cover. Yes. With unreported <laughs> data. Once you've got some tasks good and done, go check in with Professor Laventon. See you soon. Maybe we should do that. Uh, yeah, report your research tasks and earn a sufficient number of Pokemon research points. So if I haven't done enough so far, he'll just send me back out to go out and think. I just realised that that thing that comes up with the what my mission is is behind the camera, but that's fine. I don't think you... Like, as long as I go do it, you guys are going to know what the... Yeah, no. God, there's shit just everywhere with this game. There's no good place for the camera. But I mean, again, games don't often think about, you know, where will be a good place to put a camera. They're more just like, how do we pro show the necessary information on the screen? Uh, so I can't begrudge them for that. Need a bicycle. No, I don't. Running is fast, but bicycle is faster. I oh, don't know, this is pretty fucking fast. Me. I ran out of air by the sound of it. <laughs> I ran out of air. Dies. Oh ho, if it isn't a crafting kit, you must have listened attentively to Ray's teachings. Excellent work, dear girl. This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. When you submit survey reports, you will receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You will receive more money if you've fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed thus far. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh! Money! I'm caught using a back strike. 10 or more Pokemon in one report achieved. So you get a bonus for like waiting longer. <clears throat> Money. 
Mm-hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. By carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, you'll raise the research levels of the Pokémon species you encounter. If you raise a Pokémon's entry to level 10, that entry will be considered complete, and you will have unlocked all the detailed information to be had about that species. So when they wanted a complete Starly report, I need to catch a fuckload of Starlings. Starlings. As you carry out tasks and complete the Pokédex entries for different species, you'll also gain Pokémon research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokédex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition team. Hello, Les! With the stealth sound. Hello. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Oh, look! Preferred foods! Good. That's super cute. Um, cool. So it's ticked off what we've done now. Research level five. Kick mm. Starly. Level eight. Shit. So you don't have to do all of them. No. You have options. I wonder if you get bonus something for Kitty for getting like all of them done done. Onwards. <clears throat> so I need to catch another like 15 without being spotted. Uh, Ooh. Uh, not quite there yet, I'm afraid. You'll need to complete a few more research tasks before you're ready to go up a rank. I'd recommend you work your way through Bidoof's and Starly's tasks first. Hang in there. Just you, work. Uh, rest the Pokemans. Oh, night time. More Pokemons! Do it! Oh, happy and healthy again. Yeah, not yet. No, I know, but not yet. Not yet, not yet. Make all of the Pokemon balls. Planning on it. All of them. Yesterday. <laughs> Just did that. Make all of the potions. Okay. Uh, let's go finish Bidoof and Starly off. Starly first, I reckon, because there's a quest for that. Hello, it is you. Hope you're well too. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you so much for asking. I appreciate it. You do. A rock. That's not a rock, is it? It's, it's, it's an, an apricorn. apricorn. Cool. Not a Bidoof, but not a rock either. We were both wrong. <laughs> Hi, Liz. Mm. That's a funny looking tree. It is. Let's go look at it. I hope there are starlies along the way. There's one. I saw. Backshot. What are these ones looking at you? It moved. <laughs> oh yes, it was looking at you, so it's gonna run away. No, but it didn't see me. They kind of go, "Huh?" If they see you, oh, so like they, that. So they pull a, they pull a. Chinx. That's not a funny looking tree. It just, it's a normal tree, unfortunately. Got berries in it. It's funny looking yeah. compared to all the other ones. Every time I move, like switching through the Pokemon, it sounds like someone's sneezing. Like, eh, eh, eh. It's the weirdest sound. Just, I realized you couldn't hear it, so I thought I'd describe it for you. <laughs> Uh, I'd be proud of what I just did. Landlord hasn't fixed any repairs we needed since moving in five months ago. I issued them a very sophisticated letter telling them they're in breach of the act. I have 14 days to rectify before I take them to VCAT. Hey! No more as a tenement. Brilliant! I'm so proud of you. You're right. That's a new looking tree. It's, just, it's a different color, so I think it'll have a different kind of berry in it. Let's go see. Also, there's a starlight to the I right. know. Sure, Starly. Right in the snoot. 
I'm just really sure I love that. Oh, I got... Ooh. It blew away. Well, there you go. Guess it was I don't know sick you do shit. That. Um, I got this years ago. Like, honestly, the year before I even started uni. So, like, a heckin' decade. Um, but it was from back when Jinx, like, had the, uh, the WoW shirts and stuff like that. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's one that's around anymore. But yeah, it says I'm only here because my server is down. I'm sure if you Google that, you might be able to find, like, if anyone still sells it. She's up there. To the left, to the left. To the left, you reckon? Music started to get very Zelda. Uh, what is attacking me? That Shinx. I mean, you can fight it. Uh, that was a tree, but that's fine. I do love that I can like move around the fight and stuff. Like it's super cool. On the positive note, if you watch Shinx beat up your Pokemon, you still get XP. Looking around. Ah, oh. uh, good old Jinx. Yes. Yeah, many many moons ago. Cause I am an old. <laughs> it's why I also got my shirt that it has like the tooltip thing and it says level question mark question mark humanoid with the like the wow hand icon thing. Yeah. I got them both at the same time. They were a, a gift for a birthday. We just climb this rock. What is my um mission at the moment? It's sufficient about oh, yeah, I need to get up a level. I think. What that? Hang on. I'm paying attention to this, yeah? Don't All stick right. your arm in front of something I'm trying to concentrate on. Because uh otherwise I'm gonna die. You're not. It's not even attacking you. It was though, that's what the eye is for. It's heading towards me, intending to attack me. That's it what was that means. taking a gentle stroll while looking at you funny. I reckon I can probably just try to catch that now. I'm gonna one shot it, so. Ah, uh, this is legit! Ah, oh, she loves it, that's great. That's awesome. Ah, uh, it's a really comfy shirt, too. Like, the Jinx shirts were awesome. Why did my shing shink sting? Because they have an oh, XP shirt. Right, of course. Up, 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 up. Up. What are you? Vivichoke. Who cares? Pick it up. Anyway, what's in the tree? Morning dew bud. Material crafting on initial vitality. Okay. Oh, revive. So craft revives. Uh, what tree? The one behind you. That one. Oh, I don't think I can get up there. Throw a Pokeball at it. <laughs> I'm not sure I can throw them this far. One way to find out. Oh, maybe I can- nah. Close. Oh, there's a point that you can probably climb up. <laughs> no. I'm not doing that. It's not it's not intended to be gotten to yet, I don't think. Um, let's go back and do what he actually told me to do, which was Starly and Badoof. I mean, we've been doing that. We're just looking around. We've been doing shinks. <laughs> You've been doing shinks. I just wanted you to look at the tree. But looking at the tree while doing nothing towards the actual game would drive me batty, so I've been doing other shit too. It's literally an adventure game in a nutshell. Got it. Number caught. 
number you've called without being spotted. How? How did it not spot me? I basically had my back foot in the grass. Triple kill. Hmm. If you just showed me class ones, yeah. Take all the things. It's now becoming clear how differently Justin fear play the games later. Yeah. We are, look, we get along really, really well. We are very different. We are very, very different humans. However, we often work together quite, not always, definitely not always, but we quite often work together really well. Once we reach an agreement on something, which may take a while, we then work pretty well together. The side quests are the real quest. The real quest you. You are no longer in the grass. Oh well. I'm aware. Catch you. I want to see. So got one. So that's another research. Oh no, it's not another research level. Oh, it starts on one, doesn't it? Okay. I mean, you could just battle it and see what could happen. What's that guy? That's a torch, like a brazier, mm. like brazier with the yeah, fire on it. Yeah. Left. I know. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Motherfucker. Sally just ran away. Ah, oh, and it flew away. Does this count? Trainer tips. Thankfully, there's this big. How is your leg not broken? Magic. Ten. Oh, now you can battle them. Now I can get it to ten completed. Nah, fuck that. Battle them. It's night time. Getting to night time. Battle uh, them anyway. How do I? Open your map. No, I'm trying to like. There we go. See if we can pause time for a bit. Uh, fantastic. We did a win. Congratulations to Cade, Run, View, Oz, Neke, Louis, Pulse, Spam, and Death on all your bonus shit. Well done. It is a boss fight. You're right there. Yeah, I'm just checking my stuff. Nano pointed out earlier in stream how close Atreus is to Arceus. Who? Arceus, Atreus, Acherus. Oh, the spelling and stuff. Super duper close. It's very tempted to just start calling it Pokemon Legends Acherus and see how long it took you to be like, what the fuck? Tickle you again. No. So I can give you a concussion. Um, Tried to give yourself a concussion <laughs> last time. I did not time. give myself a concussion. Alright. Brilliant. Let us continue. Yeah, the sun is starting to set. If you, if you can't tell, um, it's getting a bit yellow and pretty. Golden hour, if you will. Beautiful. Um, so I've done... Uh, we've got two that are highlighted for, uh, for Starly. So we think that that's going to get us to research level 10, which will mark, um, mark Starly as complete. Although I still don't know what those little red ones on the side mean. Nobody knows. Let's go. Like, maybe they're, like, extra. Give me money. I don't know. You're buying new threads with money. don't need new threads. I'm happy with my thing. No, you're not. You don't like my shoes. Eh, they're fine. Seems you made some new observations. Let's have a look. Update the Pokedex. Complete. Starly is complete. Except it still is not telling us that they're preferred foods. Maybe that's what the red things are for. It's telling you it's preferred food. It's like honey. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you see the little grayed out shape next to it? And then it the grayed out shape. It also likes mushrooms around. and execute. What? It likes eating mushrooms and execute. What do we get for... Ah, quick attack. Sorry, use the term quick attacks. We've got a bunch of quick, a bunch of shink stuff. We've got both forms, look. Let's do that another that. Yeah, it'll tell us to complete the boost page. Right, continue my excursion. Um, I think I might be able to... Craft more Pokemon. Yeah. And a potion. Not that you're using them. I don't really need them yet. Why use them if I don't need them? Stop <laughs> walking into him then. I think you have bonus research with the red ones and I'm not sure. Let's say the grayed out ones. Ah, uh, it's not preferred. Okay, interesting. Oh, as in like there are only five options for food and it's those three middle ones that it prefers. Yeah, okay, that's Catch fair. Beetle. Beetle wants to battle. No, Beetle wants to get in a Pokeball. Beetle wants a cuddle. I need to find you some higher level Pokemon. Method unknown investigated the Bidoof that bothered the village. So we've got four, research level four. So we need to get six more. So we need to defeat a bunch, catch a bunch. I just keep catching. We've got two forms of change, so that'll get us to one. Just keep catching. Okay. <clears throat> it's not like you run out of Pokeballs balls before you hit 25 Bidoof. The heck are we gonna do with all of the extra Bidoof? Turn it into Pokemon candy. Alright, Professor Oak. Where the heck else are Bidoof though? Because like... Probably near the water. That's where Bidoof like to um, be. There we go. Six court. If I go... Starly has a Pokemon. Pokemon next to it. Yeah, because it's completed. It's the one complete one that we've got. Um, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh... Eh, fucking... You know, who's your horseshoe plains? I don't know where those things are, though. You're at Has Aspiration Hill. Horseshoe plains was... Oh, look at your map. Horseshoe plains uh, is over there. Oh, okay, I see. So, wow, this place is fucking massive. Okay, cool. I wonder, can we run across the water? One way to find out. Probably not. I'd say we'd probably need surf, eh? All right, let's head in that direction that we're facing. And, uh... Wait, wait, wait. What's that? It's a starlight. Starlight. It's night time. Ooh, types. I doubt this early on in the game. But you might find some sleeping Pokemon. That one? He's not asleep. He's hungry. There's no Z's. Alright, it seems to be asleep. One way to find out. Nope, he's no, just it's... eating. Yeah. Ah! I told you! Ah! Drifloon! Ah! <sighs> Aggressive, you reckon? Who cares? Put it in a Pokeball. Shiny! What is that? Shiny rock. Shiny, shiny rock. Aggressive. Cool. So, we are gonna go... Shinx. Can't quick attack it. Can't quick attack. Thundershock, then. That looked like... Ooh, bite! No, bite! You've got a quest for bite. It might one-shot it. But who cares? You've got a quest for bite. Like perfection. Anyway. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm still learning too, of course. All at the same time. All learning together. No much further wrong than you are. Fantastic. We can't Hope you're enjoying fun. it so far, Kay. Should be a caretaker achieve for cuddling all the Pokemon. Yeah. Look at the Pokedex. What? No, Pikachu. Not yet. Not yet. Sorry. 
Du flun. Wait, what? Oh, <clears throat> you haven't talked to him about. No. Investigated whether Drifloon truly does play with kids. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Number caught at night. On to catching more. I love that you can complete the research tasks either with like. There's the. Um, Eevee! Eevee. <gasps> that is a fucking Eevee! You're right! Oh my god. But I love that you can complete a Pokemon entirely, either by catching a shitload of them or by battling a shitload Not of them. them all. Like, you don't have to, it, it's not. Anyway, Eevee! <sighs> so, like, regardless of your play style, you know, it kind of, yeah. It has options for you. I've never caught so many duplicate Pokemon in my- No, that's a lie, I played Pokemon Go for a while. Send them all into candy. I had, I caught enough magic up to make a fucking Gyarados like twice. So, look at it so far. So different other Pokemon Ooh. games. Yeah, it really is. Bugwort, delicious. It it it's so different, but I think it's really awesome. Hey. Also, your Cyndaquil just mastered. Them. Interesting. Maybe I should. Bugwort. Bugwort. <sighs> so better than no wild Pokemon. So it's a medicinal property, so it'll be in some kind of healing thing. Anyway, Eevee. I know. I saw. Eevee. I'm gonna catch the Eevee first. Just get it out of the way. <clears throat> Smack him in the butt. <laughs> okay, so not aggressive. It has run away. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, but it's not aggressive. It didn't see us and go ooh, and then. It has run away. After one, like. Yes, one of Eevee's signature move, uh, special abilities is run away. Sparkle Rock. Oh, at least Beedoof is easy to catch. That's why it's the first one it's telling us to do. <sighs> anyway, why is this thing so sparkly? Let's find out, shall we? Doubles? Stardust! Uh, though it gives you less tumble stone. Maybe the things you pick up are capped at five? What that? That's a fucking ponytail. It is too. I know my fucking ponytail when I see it. <laughs> Put it in a Pokeball. I plan to. It could be a heckin' timid one too. Cherry berry. Needy. Make it on the butt. Other one, not the bidoof. Fucking. You don't have to focus it. You can no, just I know. Toss I know, it. but like. Makes it a whole lot easier. Back shot. Dunk. <laughs> Yay! You got a ponita. You, you got another fire attack. Yeah, I do. Ooh, heavy specimen. It's a chunker. It's a chunky predator. Chunky tar. <clears throat> Heck and timid. Lost a few Eevees so far. One day I'll get there. Yes, adore Ponitar and Rapidash. It, it mastered a move too. Ah, oh, now got a new move too as well. Did that as well, yeah. Another Ponitar. What is that? A is medicinal it just a medicinal? <laughs> it's it a medicinal just looks weird because it's next to a rock. Yep. run away too by the way. Fucking Audi. <laughs> Damn thing's legging it. Oh look another Drifling. Bullshit that this thing hasn't spotted you right now. Maybe it doesn't have very good eyesight. 
Some animals don't. Got it. I like the positioning of the satchel. Uh-oh. Well, send it. You know, when's... Bum, bum, bum. Mm, it's very interesting to hear how y'all pronounce Pronata. How else would we pronounce it? I'm so confused. Burn, dripping, burn. Maybe because it's in the grass, it's like you're in the grass. Games are funky with coding. They are. They are very funky. Very funky. You are correct. Pronounce it Pronita. Typically hear it as Pronita, like... Pony little horse. Isn't that what I'm... That is what I'm saying. Pronita. Like pony ta Pronita. I'm really confused. That is, I thought that was how I was saying it. Do we say pony differently? Like, <laughs> ponita. Ponita. That's how we say wise, Shiva. Like, Australians halfway pronounce literally. Like, you guys say, like, um, what's... You guys over-exaggerate all of your vowels, all of them. You massively over-exaggerate them. And I know that Y is not a vowel, but it's like a pseudo-vowel. Hit the drift now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's becoming daytime. It is. It might disappear when it becomes daytime. I doubt it. It's not going to leave a half-done battle. <laughs> she just fucks off into the abyss. <laughs> Oh. Grew enraged. Is that Shit. Oh dear. First time I've seen those little icons before. Holy shit. Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, you're straight in front of it. That's why horses, ponies can't see straight in front of them. They have the eyes to it. I do not think that the game's programming is that complicated though, Phoenix. That drift loon almost one. We shorten everything too. We do shorten everything, yeah. I was gonna say Nita rather than Neta. I don't think I'm saying Neta. I'm saying Ponita. I'm just saying it quickly, and I'm not like Ponita. Like I'm just not putting massive emphasis on the Y. Like I just I don't yeah. The what is different. Over there. The absolute intention there is that it is a pony with a tar on the end. It's just that I say it fast enough and smoothly enough that there's no ponita in there. Like it's just not an it's not exaggerated. Um, I also don't see why it's a fucking problem. <laughs> so what were you saying? There's a the water's a different color. It is kind of different, isn't it? I re it's just because it's clear, I think, and that's what's on the bottom of it. Like this is dark on the bottom. Maybe this is deeper. Well, one way to find out if we can walk on water. Well, you can. Sw what the? F <laughs> you do? Oh, oh no! Okay, noted. By the way, you drown. Can't swim. <laughs> Wait. So Is that, that blacking out, out mechanic? I think we've just. Ooh. Okay. There you go. That's what happens. Don't try that. <laughs> oh, a floatzel. I know, and a weasel, and that's why I saw it, and no, I was like, No, that's Ooh. not a floatzel. That's a. Oh, it is too. Yes, it is. It's got really red eyes. If it's angry. It's really big too. It doesn't help at all. <laughs> Let's go find there's... a bridge and fight. No, it. there's no. I don't think there's a bridge. I think that's literally blocked off for a reason. Like you got to wait to like Grump. progress the. Achoo! Progress that's... the storyline, um, but that's okay. We can go along the other edge. How many? Who's Come dead? here. Pokemon. Let me see your research level faster. So you went through. So that's seven. Oh, we got a heavy one. Yay! Good. Uh, let's catch some more then. Put it in a Pokeball. 
My true personally, I'd say sparkly horse thingy. It looks like it's on fire. Americans also enunciate every vowel. Right yeah. They do, it yeah. Does make noise if it gets up? Oh, it just made its call. That's all. Okay. So it does make a noise if it gets up. Oh, no. It's gone. He's out of here. Boy, boy. Weasels. Ah, uh, they're going to attack me. Big weasel. Yeah, big weasel. Like, that's huge. He's a chonker. They're yeah. a chonker. I don't well, know you've got you've got a thingy for catching big weasels. Oh, do I? Uh-huh. Um, what should I use? Shinx or? I mean, you could try and surprise catch it. I you could. got a pretty good chance, especially if chilling. that counted as a back shot. Bye. Oh, angry! Time to cat. Fight! 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 Um, Shinx then? Yes, yeah, Shinx. <laughs> Bra! <laughs> God, they're so fucking adorable. I'd bite it. Uh, I don't know at all now, just find it interesting. I learned that the hard way too, that's okay. Ad break, bless you, thank you, Phoenix. Thank you. Yeah, we have a 90 second ad break every half hour so that I have pre-rolls turned off permanently. Uh, I know, I know it, it's a hassle, I, I know, I know, but unfortunately. What the um, heck does that, actually, when you're about to one shot. What? Ah, oh, oops. <laughs> I, I did say don't thunder shock him. I didn't hear you at all. The noise, the music's really loud, and I've got my headphones are good. You just um, murdered a big boizel. <laughs> I did. That's that's my bad. That's my bad. Oop, right, I'm supposed to be. Ah, Never mind. Fuck. Too late. Jinx in. Bonk. Now, I would like to find out, right? I'd be really like to find out. That crap out of you. Hip fight. What the hell is the LR thing? Oh, that's what the mastery of moves Agile do. and it strong. Unless you change yep. the styles. So do you want to do agile or strong? Strong. Is it going to kill it? 10 to 2? Fuck if I know. That is really cool. Because there's um research things for seeing them use strong type attacks and agile type attacks oh, as well. Kill it. Remember? That might kill it. No, because it only got it to green. And 50% is yellow, so it should only knock him to... Oh, fuck. It's not how that's meant to work. <laughs> maybe the maybe the strong and agile have variable damage. Or maybe maybe they give a buff to the next move. Like they've yeah, attacked in this style, they've now got oh. That tree is moving. There's a Pokemon in that tree. <laughs> it's across the water, I'm not gonna drown. There's again. a Munchlax in that tree. A Munchlax. Wait. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second, I should I said it and then I'm like, oh Crazy. wait. <laughs> Oops. I'm supposed to be looking for fucking Bidoof. Fucking fucking. Um, that way. Yeah. No, actually, to the left. Or like north oh, actually, and stuff let's as go well. North. Yeah, let's see what's in the north. I'd like to see what's in the north. Eevee. Maybe that's only a night time. There's a lot of Wumpel up here. Oh, yeah. You need to catch one. No, I'm looking for Bidoof. Bidoofin. Although, it would probably still get me XP to do the Wumpel shit too, but I'll probably run out of. <laughs> We're gonna conception book more balls for this. I can make more. You could. Um, in fact, no, that's a... What level does Shinx evolve? Uh, 16. <laughs> I'm gonna heal up my Citical because I want it to be Perfect. healthy. That Drooflum smacked the shit out of it. It really did, yeah. <laughs> like, what? It did. Um. Bidoof. I see. Because it doesn't give a flying fuck, I'm just gonna, like, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Good. Bonketh it on the noggin. Hot. Catch two more. Hey, maybe, maybe next time you see an Eevee throw an R. That's a fucking Rapidash! And it's got angry eyes as well. Big Angie. <gasps> Dit, let's catch Whoa, a Rapidash. Guys! <gasps> it's fucking huge! Oh my fucking god, how the fuck is it supposed to fit in a fucking Pokeball? <laughs> Same way of- Um, do we try to catch it or do we try to battle it? Catch? What's the worst that can happen? Not a 
said that. <laughs> uh. I got it. Nah. Doesn't give a crap. Nah. Alright. Oh, okay. Time. All right. Uh, what am I using? Shinx. No, Shinx isn't half health. Starly. No, no, it's not actually attacking me. It's just. Heal Shinx, then Shinx. Heal Shinx, then Shinx. <laughs> and if needed, Beedoof can tank hits. It's also like a rollout, so that's pretty good. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. <laughs> yeah, it won't let me. Uncatchable. Yeah. It might have been uncatchable before. You! <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Ooh, now it's easy. Now it's angry. <laughs> Oh my god, why is it so angry? Holy crap, bro! <laughs> alpha, it's an alpha Rapidash. I don't it's me. level 40, shit! <laughs> it didn't even go! <laughs> it didn't even go! Should we run? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna run. Yes! yes. <laughs> okay, so if they have red glowing eyes, run! <laughs> it, is, it is an alpha, and you don't want to fucking touch it. Oh! <laughs> no, that's it. I'm. That's... You're good. Keep running. No, I'm not. It's, You're it's fine. Keep beeping. going. It's beeping at me. Keep hide behind the rock. I'm, yeah, it can and get round duck. rocks. Duck. <laughs> now look behind you and see if it's there. All right, we good. <laughs> <laughs> so now we know that the elf is a level. Four. 40 and not to fuck with them. Oh, good lord. You should get the rock. Oh, yes, I'm gonna do. What the fuck is going on with its head? <laughs> oh, good lord. That's... <laughs> I don't like it. I'm really quite not playing. I'm gonna have nightmares about that. Good lord. I'm watching you. Oh, that's terrifying. Anyway, more rapid ash. I mean, uh, no more rapid ash, please. In case, thank you. Oh lord, that was not Very a fun funny. time. <laughs> um That is a tiny ponyta. Yeah, it is. Give me a second, let me just. Oh my, a bigger fiery flame horse thingy. <laughs> Hello, Krazzy! Hello you rip indeed. I think this won't end well. Look, I might agree with you. Um <laughs> Look, it ended perfectly fine. Nobody died. Oh, I almost did. You almost died. That's not me. You're not playing. Good. I think, you like, should... <laughs> I think you should rapidly dash away, Jack. Bye, bye, bye Ponita. You just... Yeah, I ran like a far way away. It's a horse. Uh, well, we are dead. No, we're not dead. We're good. We're fine. We learned. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get there. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that was entertaining. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, Orenberry first. Remember that Eclipse exists. Not you, chat. Good point. And Are they can be up to first. 60 seconds long. I need to somehow get into that other grass patch. Just yeah. because it's closer. But now it's coming over here. I'm very close. I'm very confused. Well, you can just toss an orange bear. Um, the goal of this bitch. <laughs> Well, I guess we found out about what's the worst that can happen. Nice throw. Thank you. Not you, you fucking... Wait, what? How did that miss? <sighs> Uncatchable. It missed. It bonked it on the tail and it missed. Oh, be used there. Consolation yeah. prize. That's a bitch. Oh, no. N never mind. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine. May need to craft some more Pokeballs. Yeah, we need some uh, Apricorns and stuff for that, though. Solid case of um, when I say what's the worst that can happen, not doing what I say we should do. You think I'd have learned that after fucking, what, seven years of knowing you? Runs into giant pack. What's the worst that can happen? I lived. <laughs> like oh. last night. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Axiom, thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. Thank you. 
That is a Luke. What is? No, it's a Starling. Never mind. I don't think you're gonna find a Raiolu or a Lucario this early. No, on. I know, but it just it looked a bit strange from the butt, you know. That's fair. We don't need to catch another. No, we stuff. don't need any more stuff. Where's the beetles? I've got 19 things to give it, um, but I still need one more. So I need to catch two more Bidoof. Um, there's probably those two up by the Professor have probably respawned, actually. I reckon we keep on going that way. Um, yeah. Famous last words. Man, Just I've learned here. not to run into any pack with a monkey. Or monkey. <laughs> <laughs> like that was. Have you really though? Unfortunately, like that that monk was either not having a good night, probably just not having a good night. Because <laughs> I, I I just don't believe that somebody put the hell is that? It's what a flower. That? Yeah, it's just decoration all around. None of these are pickable. Like I've run over all of them a million times. Beetle. Oh, beetles are down that way, aren't they? There's one, two, three. It's a family of beetles. Hey, that apricons respawned too. Look, there's the bridge to get across. We can go fuck with the float No, <laughs> not after the exploit. You get back in the, in the ball. ball. Not after the experience with the rapidash. I'm not touching anything with the red eyes for a little while. Basically, the equivalent of the Elite Four at this point. It's a gym battle. Um, he just is looking around big bag of monkey eyes. How's everyone tonight? Doing pretty well, thank you, Axiom. Doing pretty well. Why are you glaring at me? Is it a mana ray? Oh, no. Hello, Dory. How are you doing today? I should make food. Ooh, food would be nice. I sad. like food. Oh, shit. Ha Look, this is a sign that you're having a fuckload of fun, isn't it? We haven't even f finished the first level yet. Tremendous, I have a the night. No worries, Ori. Thank you so much for swinging by. Oh, Jesus Christ! I've got two brand new Pokemon. Extra points. Extra money. Lots of money. Doing okay. Good to hear. And yeah, I'm having so much fun, Array. So much fun. Played Pokedex with this new data. Look, we've completed three. We completed Shinx. You completed Cyndaquil. And Cyndaquil. Oh my god. So we, yeah, three new ones. You managed to complete Cyndaquil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, because they're red ones. They oh. count for more. Okay. Yeah. So red must be... Like double. Double. It is double. Because Beedoof is finished too. It's yeah, it happens, yeah. Um, which you means I probably didn't have to catch those last two. No, you did actually have to catch those last two, because you were at three. And you've only got four ticks, so those last two granted you two bonus points to get you to eight. Okay. Um, anyway. I'm being the in the shinks as well. You are, but that's okay. Well, Paul. So we've completed four. Yeah, what's Wemple be next, right? Number so seven. God, just catch. So I'd need to catch three more and have one of them be light. And that'd be it. So go catch just one, two, three. Or catch three more and then beat the ever loving snort out of one. Yeah. Catch three, beat one. Catch three, and if one of them isn't light, defeat Kill one. one. Yeah. Yes. Or let it use poison sting on you. Actually. No, no. just use it myself and use fucking poison sting. Oh. Or you get into a battle with one, like the final one you need to catch. Yeah. Poison Sting's probably its only move. And then, yeah, well, I mean, I might see it do that by the time I catch three. Oh, so you, yeah, I'd have I have mean. to get into a battle with one, yeah. Eh, it's fine, I'll just catch weasel. three. And if one of them's light, then fantastic. Um, that's not Weasel. Oh, that's points. Yep. You've made good progress uh, on these research tasks for you. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and I'll report and report the good news to Captain uh, Celine. It's time you earned yourself a star. So there you go, chapter one complete. Oh, we're to battle. go back to the b place. Okay, I'm gonna make some meat. Yeah, go for it. Um, I'm gonna do the battle and I'm gonna sit here while that does that. <laughs> Did we get out of the fridge? Yes, I got it out now. Well and again. done, good job. Well, it's definitely warm. Um, I'm gonna also turn the aircon off because I think it's cool enough in here that we can maintain it. 
Good yeah, it's night time. That's what happens at night time. <laughs> I have some hydrates that I haven't touched, so I'm gonna do those as well while the battle happens. enjoying the game are you enjoying watching the game because I mean I'm enjoying playing it but it's also important that you like watching it <laughs> so what what are our thoughts so far <clears throat> I really like the different mode of like you can catch them you can battle them you like all that kind of different fun stuff I think that's really really nice it's enjoyable having a blast oh good I'm so glad I'm so glad and I hope your embers were worth the uh, the banter between Jas and I. Congratulations to K, Cade, Neke, Axiom, Great, Faden, Dur, and Deathlock on all your bonus shit. I hope you got some fantastic scrolls from that boss chest. Let us head into our next map. <clears throat> Leveling the units. Leveling the units. No, 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 no. Leveling the units. Place your stuff near my flag bearer if you'd like a tasty buff. Okay. So why is Togepi listed under Obsidian Fieldlands if they're not there? I just, that's fun. But Wormpool's the next on the list. Um, but first we need to go in and... <clears throat> I have a feeling they're going to send me to a new zone. Because, like... So it's a big map. There's a lot, of, a lot of areas. Like, down over here we could go. Like, where the... Like, around here. Or they could just unlock more of Obsidian Fieldlands. Um... I'm wondering, see the little icon next, like it's an obsidian field lens and then it's got that little icon next to it, the, like the arc phone symbol. I wonder if that means I've mastered it. Like I wonder if when I get to the point that everything in that area is mastered, then it kind of unlocks. Or like that little symbol happens or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. <clears throat> if you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. That is so many stars. That is 10 stars. Oh god, this is going to consume my life. I can't afford for this to consume my life. I have too much work to do. You can now use heavy balls. Pokemon of up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. Ah, have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. <clears throat> recipe for heavy balls. Need an apricorn and a black tumblestone. And a, cra a recipe for a vive. Two, one vivichoke and two medicinal leeks. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us, like this, is a testament to your native talent and hard work. 
Most people prefer it when things are simple, uh, simple enough to be judged on face value alone, and proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be willing, more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. <clears throat> for today at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. So, fear my girl. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Our usual order of potato mochi tastes even better when there's something to celebrate. Hey, by the way, have you taken on that request Beauregard had? Well, most people here don't know much about Pokemon. You've noticed, right? So it's our job as the Survey Corps to take care of any issues that crop up because of that. We're basically Pokemon problem solvers. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Ray? What's it all about? That one might be a better fit for Fia than me. I don't think I'll be able to pull it off unless I get better at Pokemon battling first. Ah yes, that request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. I like food. The next day. <clears throat> hey Fia, before I go meet Mai about that request, mind showing me how you do in battle? Of course. Great, I'll be at the training grounds. If you've been catching lots of Pokemon, you can change up your team at the pastures, just so you know. <clears throat> the fuck are the pastures? <laughs> Although, actually, while I'm here... Wait, is this the pastures? It looks like pastures. The pastures house the many Pokémon you catch. Collect them from here to change up your party. If you have some Pokémon you'd like to leave here with me- Oh, good lord. Oh, my bags, they hurt. Um, okay. Firstly, uh, I want a Wurmple, and I already have a fire type, so I think I'll take a Drifloom. Oh, actually, this one. I just, hang on a second, I heard something.
Okay, so that oh fuck was actually a thing. Um, we've got glass bubble teacups that we bought before we got the ones from Bubble Tea Club. And uh, one of them is no more. Uh, it hit part of the it hit part of the sink um, and shattered into a million pieces. And Jas was in the kitchen barefoot, uh, so I had to help him get. There's countless tiny shards of glass all around his feet, um, and I managed to get some of those. Um, but we found some like on the we've got the you know you guys if you saw the kitchen stream. You know, we've got like one of those peninsula benches within and the, the lounge room is that side. We found pieces of glass on the lounge room floor. <laughs> so um, I had to help, I just had to help him get at least clear um, for himself so that he could go get shoes so he could do the rest of it. Um, but I also was in socks, which protects me from the teeny tiny little shards. But there are little tiny teeny shards in those socks now. So <laughs> I'm going to change my socks. Um, cause as I was walking back in here, I felt something poke me in the foot. So I'm like, yep, yeah, nope, let's change those socks. Um, he's now vacuuming <laughs> because of the glass. He's okay. He has no injuries that we could see. I uh, checked his hands, checked his feet. Um, can't see any blood, no, no nicks, no, no scratches, nothing like that. So all is okay. Um, I just, I had to make sure that he was okay and that he was not going to injure himself. And, um, my best friend's health and safety comes above entertaining you guys. I'm sorry to say, <laughs> but um, it is the truth. It is the truth. So I hope you can forgive me and we will, we will move onwards uh, to victory. Uh, right. So I've grabbed my high level drift loon. Um, do I have, what have I got? So this one's three, that one's four. Okay. Let's take the, Level four worm. Oh, no, because he wants to trade a worm pool, doesn't he? He wants a worm pool to raise. So I'm going to give him the lower level one. <laughs> got to do what you got to do. I Look, I think so, okay? Um, but I know that obviously just disappearing without any warning and then not coming back for several minutes. I thought I'd give you an explanation at the very least because uh, um, I know that there are a couple of you that do tend to get a little bit concerned, which I really appreciate. So I thought I'd let you know. Glad you in here both okay. Thank you, Phoenix. So am I. So am I. The first thing when I, as soon as I saw, um, like, you know, his hand like this and glass and I, and the other hand wrapped in a tea towel, I'm like, what the fuck happened? Um, but no, he was, uh, he was, he held, he was holding one of the glass cups and was drying it. Um, and his hands are a little bit big to fit in the glass cups like neatly my, my hands fit right in there and I can get in there and dry it, but his hands are a bit bigger than mine so they don't quite fit properly so he was trying to push them in there to get like the bottom corners and stuff dry uh and but his other hand because he is perpetually damp his other hand was wet and so as he was pushing it into the cup it pushed through his hand and smacked on the the corner the metal corner edge of the sink which did the thing <laughs> destroyed the cup uh, that's okay. So it's it's totally ruined. Like it's completely in a million pieces, um, and he feels really bad. I'm like, don't worry about it. It's fine. We have plenty of other brewing vessels. He's like, yeah, but I liked that one. So I think he's gonna buy another one. <laughs> life is more important than stream. Ah, but sometimes life is stream. But no, yeah, yeah. Look, there there are a few things. It's it's like having a. This is a job for me, right? This is this is work, and there are some things that take a higher priority over work um even when you're at work and someone is potentially injured all work on everything else stops so that everyone can make sure that the potentially injured person is okay to make sure the area is safe blah 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 before people resume their work it, it's a thing that happens so yeah i uh, started playing the game just popping in to see how you like it but gonna leave to avoid spoilers oh wait i think i'm a bit ahead wait what happened jas broke a glass <laughs> That'll do it. Yep. Did Jas break something again? Not again. He doesn't often actually break things, but this time he actually did. Yeah. It's an awful feeling when you accidentally break your favorite cup. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Hope he's okay. Oh, he's totally fine. Um, he's, he's a bit miffed. He's a bit like shitty with himself, but, um, you know, it happens. Shit happens. It's just stuff. Stuff is replaceable. Um, and that's okay. I'm on the loss every single time. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Beauregard, have you got a worm pool you could give me? I do. Oh, oh, I can pick it out of, of course I can. Of course I can. I keep forgetting you can do this now. 
Are you sure you want to give up this Pokemon? Yes. <clears throat> you really brought me one. You must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Now, I've been told a Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. Hmm, this is a tough decision. Which of these do you like best? Beautisha, Beautifred, or Bugene? Bugene! Oh my god, Bugene! That is the- Bugene! Yeah, I like Bugene too. That's decided then. I guess that's decided then. I'll raise Bugene to be a splendiferous beautifly. Wait and see. Oh my god, Bugene is the best name ever. Holy mother of fuck. Bugene. Oh, I love it. And Wurple likes it too. Uh, and then there was the person who wanted to see the completed Starly. What's it? Uh, missions and requests. Adorable Starly. <clears throat> oh, have you completed Starly's entry in your Pokedex? Hurry, let me read it. Hmm, wait one moment. Male and female Starly have different appearances? Let me see. So the markings on their foreheads are different sizes. Incredible. I had no idea. Thank you for letting me read its Pokedex entry. Now that I know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch a Starly. Please, if you can find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. There's not a Pokemon in the world so adorable as Starly, I tell you. Will you show me a Starly? The smooth curl of the feather on its head, those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. Well, hello there, Starly. Want to touch it? No! <laughs> I, I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it after all. Besides, it might let loose a move. Who outside of the Survey Corps or Security Corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly? All the same, I must thank you for showing me this sweet Starly. Some people will see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know? Be perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokedex might put them more at ease. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Uh, I almost went that one, but went Beautifred instead. It, that's also a great one. They were all really, really good. I just, the way that Bugene flows, just, ah, uh, yep. Yeah. It got me. It got me. Alright, are there any more side quests around here? Um, that's the training grounds I need to go to for the other thing. Bridge. Do you actually battle people in this one? Uh, not yet. Oh, no, wait, I have done one person-on-person -person battle with Pokemon. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see different sized ones lined up side by side. If they really are Weasel bigger than mine, I'd love to see them alongside the one I have for comparison's sake. <laughs> and you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. If you catch a Weasel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your while. Big Weasel, little Weasel. Have you brought me a bigger Weasel? I've only got one weasel. I'll catch another one. <clears throat> Good gravy. I never expected you'd bring one so quickly. I'm afraid I'm looking for a bigger one, though. One that's at least around 2.8 would be great. Ah, oh, so we didn't take it anyway. Ah, mystery gifts. Mystery gift? Could you catch me a bird? MC, sure, I only have like 50. Yep. It's a bit that way, isn't it? I got a clothing gift. <clears throat>
fancy kimono, fancy bottoms, and baneful fox mask. Brilliant. Maybe they were the, maybe they were the pre-order thingies. Uh, right. So. I need a two eight weasel. Yeah, most of the vast majority of the battling you do is Pokemon on Pokemon. I, but I'm imagining that there'll be a couple of battles as we go along because there have been a few. Um, well, so there's been the one so far, but I'm about to do another one up here. So it's uh yeah. Thanks for taking a minute for me. I know your plate's full right now. <clears throat> I'm going to be straightforward with you about something. And that is, I don't understand how anyone can handle taking po on Pokemon in battle. I know I'm a Survey Corps member and I've even got my own partner, but I just can't do it. Your partner? That's right, take a look at my very own partner. Pikachu! This is my Pikachu! During that Shinx attack, I should have had Pikachu fight at my side, but my mind just went blank. And and really, when you get right down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? It's a Pikachu! But, working, uh, but watching you at work completing those research tasks convinced me. If I want to do my survey court work well, my partner and I have got to be a team. And our first step towards being a real team is to battle your team. Pika! Pika Pikachu. Let's do it. Why is Thundershock not very effective? Okay, so Triangle is not very effective. Who's on your team? Uh, I have a Cyndaquil. I have a Shinx. I have a Bidoof. I have a Starly. I have a Drifloom and I have, I think a Wurmple, but I think I gave the Wurmple. I, I think I need to grab my other Wurmple. Because I've only got five out of six. Yeah. Need to grab the other Wemple. There you go. That's my team. <laughs> that was amazing. The way you fight alongside your Pokemon, you don't seem one bit scared of battling. It's because we've been doing it for over a decade, mate. Uh, we'll just have to catch up as best we can. Right, Pikachu? Pika! Pikachu is not interested. Ah, fair enough. Pikachu's got a bit of a tendency to attack, you see. That's why he normally stays in his ball. <clears throat> I guess the first step for Pikachu and me might be getting a little friendlier with, an with one another. <clears throat> oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have these things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu here seems to be an electric type, for example. Well, that's a hell of a chart. <clears throat> Both Pokemon and moves have types. The type matchup between a move and its target Pokemon determines how much damage is taken. Moves can be super effective, effective, not very effective, or completely ineffective. Here are some examples of type matchups. Fire type moves are strong against grass type Pokemon. Grass type moves are strong against water type Pokemon. Water type moves are strong against fire type Pokemon. So you're the one, that new recruit everyone's been talking about. The name's Zizu, captain of the security corps. In before she's a fire type trainer. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Sisu is a master of an ancient martial art when you guide a po where you guide a Pokemon in battle. So she's a Pokemon trainer. Maybe she's fighting type. She might be fighting type. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. Jas needs to know this. Jas? You need to know this. We've just met someone called Zizu. She's a 
She's tall. She tall. She tall. We're, we're also 15. Um, but also uh, she's like a, a master of an ancient style of martial arts where you command a Pokemon in battle. She's a fucking Pokemon trainer. Uh, strong type moves. Move will deal more damage. After will take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash them and move in the agile style. Such a move you'll have less power, but Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. So it doesn't do more or less damage like you were thinking. It affects their speed for the next move. That's Interesting, right? Something smells amazing. That'd be food, perhaps. Thank yes. you. Is your hand, you're, you're all good? No glass yeah, or anything? I've washed my hands. Yeah? I just need to change my shirt. Oh, yeah. Um, I changed my socks as well, because as I good stepped into here, I felt a spiky in my heel. So I got that rid of, yeah. I just turned them inside out. I'll put them in the wash. You put them on my Yeah, seat, that's though. why I turned them inside out. <laughs> okay. Remove from chair. <laughs> In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act with Agile style. Did you hear that? Got all 50 animal shots. Well done, Shadow. Congratulations. Hey, Countess. Uh, strong style moves, Agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Once your Pokemon has mastered a move, you can have it use the move in either the Agile style or the Strong style by pressing the L or R button, or the left or right button, when selecting the move in battle. Sometimes your Pokemon will naturally master a move and unlock these styles, extra styles simply by leveling up. Agile reduces power, raises the user's action speed, and uses more PP than usual. Uh, and boosts, uh, Strong style boosts the power of the move, lowers the yeah, user's action speed, and uses more PP than usual again. There you go. Interesting. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Well, that's certainly handy to find out about before going to tackle Mai's request. You remember I mentioned it earlier. I'm heading down to see down now to see about Mai's request. I'm supposed to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come along too. Get ready, then meet us down there, would you? And by ready, I mean double checking what Pokemon you'll bring and maybe even teaching them some new moves from Zisu. And with some Pokemon, yas. Yas. <clears throat> I want new moves. So it's move tutor. A flying type for Cyndaquil? Oh, okay. Interesting. Master moves. Don't have a seed of mastery. Okay, that's fine. Interdust tank. All right, I need to go pick up my uh, my last Pokemon from the pasture, and then we'll head on out. Yeah, look, we'll pop. I think Wimp will be a good one. I'm just, I'm wondering about Boizel because I don't have another. F yeah, it's fine. We'll be fine. <clears throat> and um, we'll stop off at the crafting table and make some more Pokeballs as well because I'm pretty sure I'm running low uh, again. Heading outside the village. Are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Obsidian field lands. Yes. Also, I have honeydew milk tea today, in case anyone was wondering. Boo! Did I surprise you? Bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. I'm gonna craft so I don't have to go back to town. No, I know, but there's one. I'm literally about to walk past a camp. So I might as well use it on my way past, is more my thought. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch, or giving you an advantage once a battle starts. 
Hit a wild Pokemon from behind for a higher chance of a successful catch or to gain an advantage when starting a battle. This secret technique is called a backstrike. <laughs> that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was not, I'm not going out of my way. Like I literally have to go outside of the park, like through the archway and the camp is right there. So I thought I might, it, it like, rather than turning around to go use the one behind me, I'll use the one ahead of me. Uh, if you're part of the survey core now, working to create that Pokedex as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Thank you, Volo. That is kind of you. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, that looks so fucking good. Thank you so much. Yes. So what else has happened? Um, Zisu is a move tutor. Um, you find seeds of mastery and take them to her and she teaches your Pokemon how to master moves because some of them don't get mastered just by leveling up. Uh, we're going to go help Mai, which is the next quest, like the next big story Mai. mission. <laughs> no. Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, guys. I think that's everything. Capture more Pokemons. Uh, that's the plan. But not before I get back. We're going to do a battle now anyway, so. Yeah. It'd be funny if I meant like a Pokemon battle. I didn't realize. It'd be great. <laughs> You indeed gotta catch them all. Absolutely. Hey, people, I know, right, Kay? Jas was like, oh, it's 7.30. I should probably cook dinner. I was like, oh my god, yeah, probably. We forgot to eat dinner last night, just like entirely. I so badly want to play Pokemon too. So oh, I'm so sorry, Murray. Well, I hope you're able to get our hands on your copy soon. Like, whatever needs to happen for you to be able to do that. I hope that I hope that you're able to get a copy soon because it's actually really fun. There was a lot of um, Jas was telling me that there was a lot of negativity online about things not looking very good and people like you know really kind of confused about how this was going to work or that was going to work and just a whole lot of negativity in general. But oh my god. It is definitely not a regular Pokemon game by any, like, it has Pokemon and it has Pokeballs, but, like, beyond that, there's not a whole lot of similarity. Like, it's it's very, very different. Uh, congratulations to Zombie, Louis, Oz, Neke, Cade, and Run on all your bonus shit. And the specific type of completion thing, because I'm, I'm a completionist, like, in any game that I have, that I play, like one of the reasons I love Pokemon so much is it's essentially the game. The aim of the game is complete the thing, um, and this is this is taking that to the next level entirely. The um, the game isn't super focused on battling. Not yet, anyway. Hmm. Well, this next mission is focused on battling. Um, like they're specifically saying, oh, it, I think fear will be better served for this one, better off for this one because it's about battling and I'm not very good at battling kind of thing. So um, it does seem like this next mission is definitely more about battles. Um, do you want to put your drink up here? We want coaster. We don't need a coaster, do you? Like, well, this doesn't condensate because it's double walled. So how about you take that one? Put it in front of you. How's that? Good? Know. Awesome. So yeah, it's um so far, so far so awesome in my opinion. I'm really, really enjoying it. <clears throat> Love anything Pokemon? Yas. 
All right, let's switch back to here. I need to be able to access my dinner. I'm gonna get you like a little lap table or something for when you join us. Go to lap. <laughs> mm hmm. Hmm. We have a couple of side quests. Did Lee Lee Lee, is that how it goes? Hmm, that marvelous flower, rich though. tone. How is it produced? I must know. <clears throat> oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Wait, you're from the Survey Corps. Wonderful. Just the person I need. I want to learn more about Cricketot. <laughs> you must be curious about them as well, right? I mean, how do they make those sounds of theirs? It's a musical mystery like no other. I'd be in your debt if you could complete Cricketot's page in your Pokedex and show it to me. So I, uh, I mean, we can uncover the truth. So we're going to be finding some Cricketot soon. <clears throat> Ooh, you're that girl from the Survey Corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? <laughs> Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lure recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe, and I just know it's a winner. Problem is, the folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, I'm sure they want to give it a go too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you'll need to go get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrounge not from the forages of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One springy mushrooms, all you'll need. I'll be waiting. Mushroom cake marketing. Ah, oh, look, he's not wrong. Literally, I'm an influencer even in this bullshit. <laughs> Onward, you say? <clears throat> I finished Bidoof's page, so I don't need it. Oh, I adjusted my party to take the duplicate Bidoof's and stuff out. Yay! Um, I've got a Drifloom and a Wurmple. Yay! I true. I decided the Wurmple instead of the um, Boizel. The For... Boizel's better. Oh, okay. I mean, you don't have water type at the moment. I know, but I wouldn't have bug type either. Like... Bug's not that good. Hmm. <laughs> to you too, then. Uh, oh, Shinx is complete as well. I don't need to... Alright, bug has its uses. But in early game, not that good. Munchlax. Hmm? Munchlax. Ah, Munchlax. I'm like, where's the shaking tree? <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, something's looking at me. Oh, it's the Shinx. Ah, uh, I go away. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first. Oh, at your <laughs> rank, you should be fine. Go on then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. Like when we engaged a level 40 Rapidash <laughs> with glowing red eyes. There's dangerous <laughs> stuff on the other side of this bridge. Alphas exist. There's dangerous stuff on this side of the bridge too. Sure, yeah. Did you warn oh me about God. that? It was so large. Time for dinner. No worries. Yeah, you too, Phoenix. Enjoy your food. Well. It's female. Belinda. Bobina. Over yeah. here! Roberta, considering she Robert's Roberta. Hmm, cool. This here is fear. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. My, my, my. Or like a hair clip. <clears throat> I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me my. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to this way. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important court the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? I do. That's good to hear. The secur that security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. 
He battles at my side by choice, without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to fall asleep. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> but dumb. What should I use? Anything works. I just see it use Ember, don't I? I've mastered it anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh! Okay. Bonk. Um. Uh. What's a good idea? Yeah. No. What? <laughs> oh, I can scroll through Pokemon, but I can't actually, like. Okay, I have to go in here to select them. Yeah, it's all just effective. Maybe I'm not supposed to win this battle, considering that my Ember did that little damage. Thundershock is a chunky boy. Thundershock? Or mm -hmm. bite? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> also, potential paralysis. Nope. Do it again. And die. Yeah. Oh, you're halfway there. Who's Be up doof. next? You take the hits at least. Tackle. I mean, I've got roll out too. <clears throat> Although it's no stab, is it? Mm. Wipe half my fucking team out. Send a girl. Hang on a second. Um. Sorry about that. Uh, just got an ad for the exact game you're playing. That's hilarious. It happens. Um, who do you reckon? Indigo. What's it gonna do? Ember. Is it gonna get a hit in first? Yep. Should I do a quick attack or Ember? Ember. Ember. Okay. It's not too slow. <laughs> Sorry. It's like too slow. Yeah. Fair. But it's it's gone first on all the other. No, he hasn't. Oh, He's gone yeah, last you're right. on every single hit. Mm. Moon. <coughs> you really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. <clears throat> Thank <And> you! <laughs> I mean you did have six Pokemon to her one. And I'll let you have these. <clears throat> you people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should be these should prove to be useful materials. Oh, sorry. Five vivid chokes. Make revives with those. I have the recipe. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I got a viv uh, revive recipe and heavy ball recipe. Yay, heavy balls. Mm. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather the la rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha... <laughs> an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deer track heights. It is a large, fearsome foe like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you, to deer track heights? I know it's... <laughs> that face is exactly how I feel. Your arc phone is beeping. Is that strange thing on me, one of yours, a thing of me of yours telling you where to go? My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of the galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show us the way to deer track heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any problem handling an alpha. 
Run away! <laughs> Hide behind the rock. It seems you're quite the asset to the survey corps, new one. <clears throat> Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty, Almighty what, what now? <laughs> now? <laughs> <clears throat> I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow, and this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. Is Sinnoh another name for Arceus? Maybe? But it controls the <laughs> flow of time, so that's Dialga. There we go. But there are still Pokémon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of Wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokémon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honoured few. It is directly descended from a Pokémon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. Stuff! Yeah. Things! Cricketer! Yeah! <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to learn that there's some special thing we got to do with... Um, with with alphas that we didn't know how to do with um. Hit him uh, with the pointy end. You know what I mean, though. Like. Cricketer. Yeah, I know. I'm... Put it in the pokeballs. What that? What? That. Starly. It looks big. No, it's Starly. Cricketer. Yes. Yes. Oh, little man. Yeah, we're across the bridge. Shit's bigger now. I can oh Pokemon up to twenty with the first star. Your stars are gym badges. Fucking oath they are, there's ten of them too. So ten levels per star? Okay. Ten levels per star. I would imagine, yeah. No, because star one gave me up to twenty. Fair point. They can't get to hundred and ten. We we'll see. About. We'll see. And it might be like it doesn't get anything for a while and then it jumps to 40. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it couldn't, it's not necessarily. Back bonk. Lily, Lily, Lily. Got two without being spotted. It's because I'm fucking skilled, yo. Ninja. Uh, are you finished dinner? Yes. Um, do you wanna? Oh, get yeah. The game. I get, get, to, to, play the game. get to play the game. Get to play the game. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> How do I run fast? You That's press it run. in. You press it in. That's not right. Yeah, you press oh, it in. This. <laughs> you press it in. Like I'm not bullshitting you. Um, maybe we should. Do you wanna sit on my chair? I get to sit on chair. You'd be very nice to chair. Guys, guys, I get to sit on chair. You go that way. Okay, fine. <laughs> Spin the chair. Wait, I'm gonna keep listening though, because I need to know to thank people and shit. I'm here, I promise. Hi guys. I'm just eating my dinner while Jess has a bit of a play, because I'm actually kinda hungry today. <gasps> We're dead. It's a starly. Geo, don't dude. harass the Starly. I'm not harassing Starly. Go talk to the person to the left. Go to don't the note. I want this. I want this. What is this? Flower. Pepper plant. Um, there's also, a there's a Geo, side dude. quest. No, he's angry at you. Uh, that's not a Pokemon. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Bad. Shit. Bad. Fuck it. Ow. If you kill, if you get killed, I will be very upset with you. Uh, let's go, Bidoof. It's a bad idea, but uh, let's go, Bidoof. <laughs> uh, After that, please turn around and get the side work. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is my own work type. Oh, that <laughs> it's 
go, Beedle. Let's go. Alright, I can do the... Tickle, tickle. <laughs> Let's go, Bidoof! Let me get around the. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> no, not Bidoof! Go, Bidoof! Oh. Don't hurt Bidoof. Go through me first. <laughs> I'm winning the war of attrition. Rip Beedoof. If that actually hurts you, I'm gonna really be very unhappy. Okay. I only did it once. I watched you get knocked over like three times. I only did it once. You wanna kill it or catch it? Catch it. Put it in a Pokeball. Got it. Uh, uh. You don't have one yet. <clears throat> I can't miss from this range. That's not at all how that works, unfortunately. Stick it in the Pokeball. Uh oh. Do it again. Oh no! No, Shinx. Don't die. No, don't do that either. Get in the ball. <laughs> You're just side eyeing me. Send a reach. I caught it. I did it. I caught it. I caught the Geodude and it gave me a ball of mud. Oh no. Beedoof is dead. <clears throat> oh. Hello there. You want some cherry berries? Hmm. Oh, good We have cherry berries, don't we? Here you go. It's not my stuff, but I'll give it to you anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Pokeballs. I'll take the Pokeball. The tip was a bit shit, but I'll take the Pokeballs. Tip was a waste of my time. Fuck. What? What is that? It's a Zubat! What? You were going in the wrong direction. Don't care. Can't be caught now. It's angry. What the fuck? <clears throat> what? I walked into that. Yes, you did. It's not. It cannot be caught. Yes, it can. <laughs> that worked first. Get the crap out of it. It's sleepy. Mm -hmm. Oh, has rest. Oh, it's drowsy. Jesus oh, yeah. Christ! Um, the move tutor could to te could teach my Cyndaquil aerial ace or rest or another one. I was like, excuse me, what? So, um, I accidentally murdered the Zubat. I can see that. <clears throat> but on the positive <clears throat> note, I accidentally murdered the Zubat. There's enough Pokemon. Can't we be friends? Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? You're being attacked by the Pokemon you pissed off. Alright, fine. Be that way. Uh. Oh, it hit me yep. with. Oh no! Yep. Just, like, pay attention. You're gonna get me killed and lose half my shit, yeah? Good lord. <laughs> Am I going to two Pokemon fucking minutes? <clears throat> no. <laughs> Alright, let's clap this. You are up in the top, look. Oh, neat. Nope, because they're both fighting against your one. Do they take turns one at a time? <clears throat> oh, 
Pretty in a Pokemon. I'm good at this. No, you're not. I'm not good at stealth. You're also not good at, like, situational awareness. And recognizing that you aggroed two fucking Pokemon. It's like... fine. <laughs> <clears throat> Would you stop that? I was kind of looking to do it. Fine by me. Get in the Pokeball. Oh god. Hmm. You just. Now you may be fine in game, but you're sleeping on the sofa if you die. <laughs> I think it's my turn again, considering I finished enough. You're really? attempting to kill me. I'm not attempting to kill you. You've aggroed the Geodude. The fuck else was I supposed to do? There's two of them in the way. Sneak around it. No, you cannot escape it. You need to engage it. It's going to chase you. So run faster. That's Got that. it. Black one. How did we escape the Rapidash? Hid. Yes, so I can do that here too. See? All good. Or, you know, you could catch it to help complete the fucking Pokedex. <laughs> like, if you be careful, you can actually figure this shit out rather than just running blindly around. Oh, oh dear. Out of chest over. So anyway, what does the black part do? Uh, heavy balls. Mm. That little shrine thing. No idea. Okay, switch back. <sighs> That's a Dialga head. You. Take my rightful position back on chair. Look, Wurmple can evolve. How does it evolve? It's a really fucking good question. I can't figure out how to see the Pokemon. Like, how to like bring up what I have in my party. Oh, like, like that. Like that, maybe? <laughs> but then, oh, there we go. Okay, so I just skip across like that. So I select it and I go, evolve. Do it. Amazing. But what does it evolve into? This is a pretty cool animation. This is fucking awesome. It's uh. Get your feet. <clears throat> Silcoon. It was indeed a Silcoon. Bugger. Why? Because Cascoon is better. Silcoon got the idea for a new move. He knows how to harden. She knows how to harden. She does. Hey, number core. One. Number you've evolved. Or one. Look at the Silcoon at it. I want to look at the Silcoon. It's like a Silcoon. <laughs> it's a fucking egg. You you iron chunk. chunk. I don't know what the fuck that is, but that's fine. Hi, Mai. Hello there. <clears throat> not, not. Hmm? Not, not. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. What? <laughs> Where'd you come from? We cleared the path. Phew, thank goodness, I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. Excuse me. <clears throat> This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon, a Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. <laughs> it's That's... a Krikatoon! Oh, fuck me. That's not it. 
<laughs> That's only a troublemaker, here to disturb the peace with its racket. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking evacuation alarm. And that's what you're here for, Fear, to drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Do, 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 do. It doesn't, it just does the po the potion sound. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all as oversized as this one. <laughs> Fucking Rapidash. Whoo, <laughs> exactly. They're not only big though, they are strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. Click. Could you not? <laughs> They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I have a footrest underneath my desk to help with my posture and all that kind of stuff. And Jazz keeps playing with it with his feet, like pushing it back and forth and stuff. And I'm like... <sighs> Stab you. I believe you're stronger no. still than this alpha, so go show it that beyond any mistaking. I have an idea. Be careful, Fear. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Pokemon whose eyes glow red are called alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others and may know moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be very difficult to catch. I have an idea. Let's stick it in a Pokeball. Oh, can you make a heavy <laughs> ball? Because he'd be heavy. Um, maybe? Yeah. Hang on, it has a description. A ball that is too heavy to fly high or far, but is highly effective if you manage to hit an unsuspecting Pokemon. So it's not for ones that are... Mm. It's like a great ball. It's a knockout ball. Mm. Alright, back to the party. <clears throat> this will not be an unsuspecting Pokemon. Could you fucking stop that, please? I'm... Oh. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. He's fucking huge. Yeah, it's very large. <laughs> no. No. You gonna help me with the battle? Yes. Lily, lily, lily. Press the Y button during battle <laughs> to check the action order of all the Pokemon currently That'd battling. Nice. This shows the order in which Pokemon will take their upcoming turns based on their action speed. Action speed of a Pokemon is based on that speed stat, but it can also be affected by certain moves and items. A Pokemon with a high action speed may be able to act multiple times in a row. That's cool. Alpha creature is filled with mighty uh, aerial ace. Oh! Holy shit. Anyway, burn him. Okay. Not bad. Much Ooh. better. Good, good. Yeah, but I'm gonna die. Might be able to catch him. What? Maybe. He's a big cricket dude. Mm, I know. But lily, lily, lily. Who next? Ah, uh, Starling. A flying type, bug type, yeah, of course. And then the burn should... Oh, go again? Burn might kill him. Pull them. Put it in the ball. Make it angry. Sorry. Anyway, put it in the ball. But then it'd be angry on my behalf. We caught it. Fucking A. We caught the cricket tune. <sighs> the alpha cricket tune. <laughs> All the level ups. All the level ups. Oh, we have a battle. We'll just see if this Cut is gonna... Scene. All right, cool, it's not gonna skip itself, so we'll do the battle now. <clears throat> that was a pretty good fight. Mm. Only had to hit it twice. <laughs> it was a level 12 alpha, not a level 40 alpha. I think that might have had something to do with it. So what you're saying is the baby's first alpha. <laughs> yeah. Return with homemade katsu curry for dinner. Delightful. Ow. We can make curry katsu curry. Just not tonight. Mm. 
yeah, um, my, my uncle was, um, was driving lessons. Mm, right? Fun times. How not to drive lessons. <laughs> Uh, my uncle was teaching my cousins how to drive. There was a photo of them all smiling in the car. It was driving lessons! And then a photo of the, the car in a ditch with like three wheels off the, off the ground in this fucking ditch. How not to drive lessons. Fucking hell. Anyway. So what if the car's okay? Uh, look, I, d I don't know. I cannot tell for certain. <clears throat> Congratulations to Zombie Oz, Run, Death, Great, Faden, Spam, and Durin on all of your bonus shit. Well done. We still had an enemy left. How did we win? Uh, I'm not going to question it. We had more points. Timed out. Not that quick. It might have been a summoned enemy and it just died. Yeah, maybe. Um. It's a Venusaur. Yep. Well, it's definitely not a Venusaur. Or of a Venusaur cross with a Blastoise. But, um... Bowser burned a Venusaur. <sighs> <laughs> um... My roomie found these really nice chicken schnitzels at Woolies for it. Oh, awesome. That's, yeah, that's a really good way to, like, cheat Katsu, honestly, is, like, just doing schnitzels. That's great. That's great. What am I doing? I thought I was putting that down to grab something else. I'm a numpty. Um... Well, yeah. Yeah, look. It's fine. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Yes. Seeing someone best an alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. <clears throat> We'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. Excuse me. I like her. She keeps healing me. Whoa! It's a weird year. Wh what in the world? Get your camera ready, buddy. I think it's she's a weird year. Three to four meals. Ah, oh, nice. It's the great weird ear. Thank you. I can now go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he looks upon you with kindness, Fear. I have an idea. We're not putting it in a bowl. Unless it lets us. Take Cricketune out of the bank and throw it at it. <laughs> I'd say that the great weird ear has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Wait, what? Professor, I take it things went smoothly? Amount? Must collect. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So these guys are distrustful of Pokemon in all of their forms. They're scared of them. And yet he knows about the ride Pokemon of the lower. He's not a scared. He's not scared of them. This timeline is fucked. <laughs> <clears throat> it's at that point, like when a species hits like an evolution point that is a big jump in technology or a big jump in something, You ha what while, while half of them have done it and the other half are working on it and the other half, third or whatever, are like, no, they don't even want to think about starting it. It looks like one species can be vastly like well, all over the shop like this. So this is the, this is the timeline where they're hitting that jump from distrustful to no longer and different islands are doing it at different rates. So it looks like there's a massive variety. It's just that they're all going through it and it'll take like 20, 30 years for them all to get there. That's all. He's not from around here. No. Professor, I take it things went smoothly. I mean, what gave it away? The funny hair, the weird clothes? Hello, Justin. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm here on Captain Celine's orders. She said we'd be able to set up a base camp here once Fear took care of her request. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adam and the commander, but still, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokémon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokémon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The Great Weirdir has taken a liking to fear as well. This is a good sign. Weirdir. 
You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Adamant. He's the head of the Diamond Clan, I assume? No idea. <clears throat> First I've heard of him. Well, he made a deal with the commander. Indeed. Sounds like he's some kind of a chief or mm. something, yeah. Well, if we're to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to get to, we'll need to know them better. And the first step toward that is completing the Pokedex. We're not being a bunch of scared fucks. That helps too. Also, <laughs> the construction course should be here soon. They'll have our new base camp pitched in no time. Dum dum dum. Construction noises. Joke time. They're pitching a tent. <laughs> Here we go. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Hey, that's cool. Having more base camps ought to make our survey work easier, huh? <clears throat> well, that's that. How about we head to the Wallflower like usual? Who's he what's in now? <laughs> Do you see a little alpha symbol? The Wallflower is the pub where we get the potato mushy. I was about to say, why is the small- Oh, Alfred. Give the extras. Bonus! That's what we were gonna say. Why is the 15 year old heading to the pub? We have kids meals at a pub. <clears throat> Eats basically everything. Oh, research nine. So close. These are the updated entries. Cricket King. Wait, hang on. How did Cyndaquil get updated? Oh, we got another one, but it doesn't go any higher. Yeah. Oh, you can use Jousta. Drifling's real close to maxing out as well. <clears throat> Even Geodude and Zubat are close, far out. We obtained both forms of Zubat. Must have caught a male and a female. Yep. Shoku. Number you have evolved. I haven't evolved one. Oh, number I've gotten by evolution, mm. maybe. Yeah, okay. Number of alpha specimens caught. Oh, one. Number you've caught without being spotted, I suppose. Times you've given it food. Okay, so next <clears> one we'll <throat> find just peg orange berries at it. You're powering through this? Am I? Oh. Oops, sorry. I didn't, no, it's okay. Um, I didn't realize we were going, it's when you're like doing this kind of stuff and like massaging your feet with the lumpy bits and it's like- Well, it feels good. No, I know it does. <laughs> It's mine, I am aware. <laughs> but it's it's like when I'm just trying to sit it there so I have decent posture and you're like moving it around, I'm kind of like fucking, that's, yeah. It's okay to have your feet on it, just stay still. <laughs> I don't stay still. Not I know you don't. Thing. Fucking fidget McGee. Anyway, uh, Benny old chum, the usual potato mochi, please. And make it for three today as well. Why did you turn to loud alcohol? Mochi isn't alcohol, mochi is a little balls of gel like gelatinous stuff that I like with the red bean in the middle. Uh, yeah. Grave news. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied cleaver from the rumors, it ended up mauling some of our galaxy for- what's a fucking cleaver? You'll find out. Ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps ha has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, this is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Ah! Dingo! Excuse me, thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. I'm thank you for your Pokemon generosity. For Sorry? I'm gonna need some different Pokemon for that. Uh, he was behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Fear here can handle things just fine. But that cleave is said to be much, much stronger than even an Alpha Pokemon, isn't he? Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we part that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. I'm just saying, Ray is the detective. With the hat and the scarf. Very detective. I mean, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. The next day. <clears throat> Rise and shine, fear! The boss wants you. Kamado, that is. Get yourself to the commander's office. At least he didn't budge. That's rude. Investigate. That, so. No, I did all that already. Mm. It's just boxes and 
Yeah, there's nothing. It doesn't actually do anything, unfortunately. His outfit is much better than your survey call. Mostly because the boots aren't ridiculous. Did you get a good rest? <clears throat> Look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. Hey, Apathy, how you doing? Oh. So these would have been gym leaders. Uh, there you go again, insisting on your false image of almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. I knew it! <laughs> yeah, my people follow the true almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. <clears throat> ha, you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast Hisui's space? Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time, oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. <laughs> These insults are just like beautifully made, can we say? Also her bangle, how the fuck does she even move her arms? Don't worry Me, about it. get lost in almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis? You wish. <clears throat> Wormpool just chilling out. I bet she could pack a pretty nasty punch with the one. Oh, uh, yeah. Just kind of like, bam. Uh, I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. Commander Kamado. It's fun to say. I believe it was you who started this. Angry sets. So they don't like each other. No shit, they have two Why different gods. Both? Also, what starter? Cyndaquil. Finish work, cook chicken, noodles for dinner, yum! You know what happens when religion gets mixed with things. Yeah, true. Just another day with those two, I see. That man's named Adaman. He's the leader of the Diamond Clan. They put a lot of importance on time, as you can probably tell. <laughs> and the girl is Iridia, Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. They're all about space. You heard what she called it, right? Our world's very basis. Wherever they, Whenever they run into each other, those same arguments flare up. Seems like they've inherited some bad blood from their predecessor's strife. My game will play it later. Deus Volt, yas. Um, I hope you enjoy it. It's been so much fun. Honestly, I'm enjoying it like a lot, a lot. Oh, well, not our problem. But you'll have problems if you don't get yourself to the commander's office, Fear. So one of them reveals Palkia. The other one reveals Dialga. Dialga. Yeah. And then Arceus is like, bitch, please. They're not almighty, you plebs. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he'd say it in more Shakespearean terms. Onwards to Commander Kamado. He'd actually call them plebeians. Yes. <laughs> yeah, plebeians. Hello. Oh, splendid. You came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see. Would you mind lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Mm, but I suppose it'll be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be for the stone to lift itself up, actually. Oh, I have a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on Deer Track Heights. It would be perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it back for me? I'll head home and wait for you there. Good thing I caught that Geodude. <clears throat> Do not head home. You bitch. Hmm. That's downstairs. Eevee! It is, yeah. It appears to be behind the chalkboard. It appears to be the chalkboard. There are some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Bidoof. Bothersome Bidoof. It seems a band of bothersome Bidoof keeps sneaking into village and causing trouble. Talk to Samugi from the Security Corps and see if you can help set things in order. Mm, but but what about the Edge Lord God, poor Giratina? Different generation, right? No, they're both. They're all. Oh no, they are too. He makes up the third of the creation tri trio. <laughs> anyway, this is the part of the Pokedex. What? Yeah, I know it is. Playing with Drifloon. This is another part of the Pokedex. Seems several pa several people have spotted a Drifloon playing with one of the village children. Mickey from the security corps can tell you more. Speak with her and get to the bottom of this. 
Zubat's eyes. Zubat's eyes. Clarissa from the security corps has a request for us. Something to do with Zubat, I believe. Talk to the good lady and investigate as necessary, if you please. I kind of feel like I should go do them. Hello. Mr. Right. Rabbit. And Oshawott should be in here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm guessing that Cyndaquil would have been here eating the fire berries if I had not have chosen. It's hard to guess what this is supposed to do, but it certainly does look impressive. Boom. Or it's the poker bank. <clears throat> poker bank. Have you still got a Pokemon? No. Oh, you didn't see the poker bank. Let me show you. This is the poker bank. You're telling me that every Pokemon you catch gets shoved in there. Yep. Poor things. It's a zoo. It's a pasture. With water and rocks and grass and hay. All sorts of places for them to hide and explore. And this is the person you talk to to pull them out and in and stuff. Mm. Yeah. He wants to talk to you. I know. Mmm, <clears throat> petting zoo! Yep. What our lord being troublesome say it isn't so. Alright, if a Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an Oran Berry at it, then run while it's distracted. If I just stick to the plan, I'll be fine. Hello. Oh, Survey Corps girl. Core. Survey Corps girl. Uh, I was just headed out to the field lands to go gather tumble stones, but I haven't got as many Oran Berries as I'd like. Are you familiar with Oran Berries? They restore some HP to Pokemon that eat them, so you, as you might imagine, Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. Excuse me. You see where I'm going with this? Throwing Oran Berries is a great way to distract and avoid wild Pokemon. They're indispensable. With that in mind, could I trouble you to gather five Oran Berries for me? Very helpful. Here you go. <clears throat> I gratefully accept. Gosh, I can't believe you went to the trouble of finding these just for me. Happy to help. Thank you. Gosh, you're nice for someone who fell out of the sky. Let's just tuck these away in my satchel. I won't let your kindness go to waste. Wish me luck with those tumble stones. Give me money. Revives. Almost as good as money. Yeah, I'm not I'm not angry with that. Wooshy. Huh? Wooshy. Um, so. I'm supposed to be talking to Commander Komodo. Yeah, but side quests. But Commander Komodo! Don't make him wait. Get angry. Probably this sumo wrestle you again. Time and space. <laughs> this is time and space valuable. But side quests, Jas. Side exactly! Side quests are fine when you Captain Distraction himself. Side quests are fine when your commander isn't going to sumo you into a wall again. It's fine. Plus, his name is fun to say. Commander Kamado. Definitely recommend saying it frequently. Oh. <laughs> he stuck it in the haystack. No, no, I know, but I, I hoped that it would get rid of it. it did not. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Think skinny, girl. Listen here, Survey Corps kid. I saw the Dundas thing. I was scouring the heartwood for crops we could grow in the fields here when I saw it. This Pokemon called Cherim changed its appearance before my very eyes. It was in the evening. The light was getting dim. All of a sudden, Cherim's petals closed right up so it looked like nothing but a little flower bud. Wow, I thought. I just witnessed the miracle of evolution. But the next morning, when I went in to check on that Cherim, it was right back to full bloom. But why would it bloom just to close back up? Isn't that how evolution works? Or was the change I saw something different? When you finish Cherim's Pokedex entry, let me have a look, would ya? Okay, bye. I haven't done that yet. Um... Summon by Commander Komodo. Mm. Big weasel, little weasel. I need a big one. Yeah, I've got one, but he said it wasn't big enough, so... What? <laughs> yeah. It has to be at least 2-8. Uh, I need to get a mushroom. <laughs> Speak with Mickey. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Go back to the... Go back to the drifting... The other quest, the mushroom. I wonder one. what the little flight things are. Uh, maybe go to one. Did uh, Nord West. Um, trading grounds. Oh, they're like Paces of Interest, Galaxy Hall, Frank Gate. Oh, maybe they're fast travel bits. That's what yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, through here. Cool, we can go to the one at the gate down there. Is there one at the gate down there? Oh, it's all the way outside. Out. It's a practice field. Oh, we're close to where we are anyway. Although, that did give us, there was like a little 
growth thing, like this farm thing. Maybe I can plant things later on. Maps. Anyway, the guy that gave you the mushroom quest, his name is Moral. Like... Yeah. Uh, it's very Northern Japanese in a style, yes. Ah, uh, yeah it is. So, you've accepted my request to look into that Drifloon? I can't tell you what a big help it is. Let me fill you in. We'd heard reports that a Drifloon was playing with one of the village children over on Prelude Beach on the evenings. This seemed like odd behaviour for a Pokemon, so all of us in the security corps worried its true intentions were to harm the child in some way. Thankfully, all the village children were safe and accounted for when we went to check on them, but there was one curious thing. None of them seemed to know anything about a Drifloon. But, well, so many people from the village have reported seeing the Pokemon. We can't simply pretend there isn't an issue here. Since this calls for some investigation, I thought the Survey Corps would be our best bet. We need you to find out the truth behind the Drifloon and the child it's been playing with. Prelude Beach in the evening. Where's the sun? Is that the sun? Mm -hmm. And it's just been daytime, right? So we're about to, the sun's starting to set. Gotta go fast. Almost there. Just making sure it's still flagged. much down here is there? There's a boot. There is a boot. I don't want to try getting into it because I think I'll drown if I try to get in the water again. We need something to talk about for like 10 minutes. It's not 10 minutes. I heard something. I'm back down. Is it weird I expect a Pokemon game to have more vibrant colors? Necessarily, the the Pokemon games have always like it's it's always been very cartoony, cartoon style type deal. Um, there are definitely some more vibrant colors depending on where you are. This is this is a beach, so the the foliage and stuff is going to be not quite so super vibrant green. Um, I think they're getting a little bit more realistic with some of like the environments and stuff like that. But the Pokemon is still exceptionally brightly colored and stuff. Throughout this interval, um, you're in the practice field. It might stay out. No, it's not that kind of... This is where we caught the three original ones. Um, Look at him! Yeah, so oh, you can interact with him. Speak. Look at him! That's, that's really freaking Look cute. Look at the child. That's super adorable. Oh, he's just <gasps> sleeping! Oh, oh, honey. Oh, that's so cute. What about the Drifloon? Blue! Oh, now Cyndaquil is sleeping too! That means it must be evening time. <gasps> Maybe we should go back to the beach. Are they just gonna like pop back into their balls when I get too far away? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Noted. Is baby throw a ball at it? Why? They're my own Pokemon. I don't need to throw balls at them. <gasps> you know what I could do though. Yo, you can feed him. I don't know. Maybe. 
No, wait. Maybe. Can wait. We go this way? No, no, he's just he's turning to face me. Oh. That's right, I can pick it back up again though, thank god. Oh, I missed that. No, that's okay. Yeah, nah, he's uh is my Pokemon's. Yeah. Lightning Sky Butthole! Is that over like the village? No, it's over the volcano. Oh. <laughs> it's over Mount Coronet then. Yeah. It's where it should be. Ooh. I wonder if time actually passes while we're out here. Or if it only passes when we're in the uh place. Go. Go, Beedoof. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> What a Pokeball. I picked this back up. Oh, uh, maybe it just disappeared and I didn't actually pick it back up. Okay. <laughs> it's dancing. <clears throat> so it always looks so sad. I mean, you'd be sad too if you couldn't move. No, I know. Well, they can though. Not very much. No, but. Mm. Pokemon party! Everybody's Aww, here. And Shinx is still taking a nap. He's so cute! He has blisters. <laughs> oh, Beedoo's asleep too. Mm. Look at him. It's really heckin' cute. Oh, you wake up, you wake him up. Shinx is like, nah, fuck off. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. This is so Content, the doof, but the content we all came here for. Do fast, do. Most eighty renowned. Well done, Shadow. Congratulations. And maybe you can sleep until. Me. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm going to go try. Now. Is there enough chimneys in that? That's a wheezing. No, it's supposed to be um, characters, Japanese characters. Yeah, but it looks exactly like wheezing. <laughs> <laughs> the days seem very long. They don't when you're out in the like the other area. I'm thinking in this area the time doesn't pass properly. It was evening. It was evening. It? Alright, so that should. It's dark. You can do the fast trap, I think. Oh, yeah. Nothing changed. Yes, it did. Did this... we just go from morning to evening? What do you mean, nothing changed? Every Look at the. Everything changed. The whole colouring of the place changed. Ah. Ah. Or is he in the shed? Okay. Not creepy at all. Hi, kid. Survey call lady, over here! <laughs> hey, um, I want to go home now, but Drifloon won't let me go. Can you help me, please? Can do. Battle, 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 battle. Grrrp. Whew. Yay, now I can finally go home. But hey, um, Drifloon didn't mean to be bad. It always played together with me. It's real friendly, so I kept it a secret from everyone. Oh, my name's Taki. See you around, Survey Corps lady. How did they have everyone accounted for and yet no one knew about- Oh, because he kept a secret. Never mind, that's right. All good, we're fine. Shush. Stop it. Don't 
do you mean? Sorry. I'll drink your bubble tea. No. <laughs> no Don't drink. be mean, I'll drink your bubble tea. That's just being mean. Do not drink my bubble tea. You've had yours. Yes. It is really tasty. Yeah, that's the guy who wants the big weasel. He mm -hmm. doesn't believe that they can come in different sizes. I see you've been looking into that worrisome Drifloon for us. What have you found out? I see. So little Taki was trying to keep Drifloon from getting in trouble. All the same, he was in considerable danger. Without your help, goodness knows where Drifloon would have taken him by now. I'd be remiss if I didn't follow up on this troubling incident. I'll urge Captain Zisu to post extra security corps guards out on Prelude Beach at once. For now, I'm thankful that the situation was resolved without any harm. Thank you, truly, for helping us keep everyone safe. Complete! Stardust. Stardust. Yes. Not bad. Um, what else we got? Come under Kamado! Love this and beef. To the front gate. Just why now I've got the Final Fantasy VII victory music stuck in my head. I don't even know what that sounds like. Yeah, neither do I. The movie's behind you. Who's that? Oh, you're doing the battle. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. It's ten past nine. Holy fuck. No wonder I'm sleepy. <laughs> God, time flies when you're playing a good game, hey? Like, fucking A. Thought he hummed it, lol. Oh, no. No. Hmm. At least not intentionally. <laughs> Funny. You still haven't guessed what my eyeshadow looks like, do you? Is it a bird? No. That's No. What's it? No. Raptor. What? Raptor. Raptor's a dinosaur. <laughs> Does it live under the sea? No. Yeah. You are close, yeah. So it's a celestial or an aspect? <laughs> Congratulations to Zombie, Faden, Justin, Oz, K, Run, and Spam on all your bonus shit. How many legs does it have? Several. That's... Two legs? No. Four legs. I think it's like four or six or something. I'm, I can't remember exactly. It doesn't use legs. So is like the August dragon, like the celestial one? I already told you it wasn't the, the celestial one. The, 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 the Pandaria ones. The yellow Pandaria dragon. Wait, the, the yellow Pandaria... What are, what are the Pandaria dragons called? That's it. Yep. It's the yellow one. The gold one. Yes. There we go. Golden Cloud Serpent. <laughs> it doesn't have any fucking legs! No, they do. They've got little claws. Those are arms. And back ones? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does! It does not. They're back arms. Golden Cloud Serpent. It, they're big ass fucking legs. Thank you very much. It has four of them. Four legs. You yeah. are not prepared. You're a back arm. Thank you so much, Dan, for the raid. Welcome on in, Soft. How you going? Hello, Dan. I should do a custom. Uh, I should do a custom. I think she was gone to bed. Hello, Claire. Well, I certainly can't do one. You can. You got your fucking phone. 
Do not. Why not? Yes, you do. You've been playing on it this whole goddamn time. Do not. Did you just bug me? I'll yes. Tickle you. No, you stream. won't. Excuse me. I know you bloody well won't. Uh, all right. Doctor Samugi, that one. Those darn Bidoof. Bidoof. Samugi. I hear you caught three different species of Pokemon in your trial. That's no mean feat. I have a job that's perfect for a high achiever like you. See, I need help researching. Ah, it's those pesky Bidoof again. Well, long time no see. Well, I hope you're having a lovely day and had a fantastic stream. I look away for one second and the little scoundrels waltz right into the village. Oh, this is awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the security corps. How can I face Captain Zisu like this? No, get a hold of yourself, Samuki. Just catch the Bidoof and everything will be fine. But still, three Bidoof is a lot. Two more than I think I could handle on my own, in fact. Oh, I have an idea. I've heard that these particular pests get easily distracted if other Bidoof are nearby and end up letting their guard down around humans. So if you bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I can seize that chance to catch the little troublemakers. Voila, the perfect plan. If we combine forces, we'll get all three caught in no time at all. Or I could just do it without you. Add a Bidoof to the team and go find the other Bidoof. I have Bidoof in the team. Bidoof. Question is, where the fuck are the other Bidoof? That you gotta find out. Let's go. They're obviously not here. Maybe behind the houses. Nah, if they're causing trouble, they're not gonna be hiding. I mean, they could be eating trash. There's one. Doof! E doof. <laughs> you gotta hit in the head with the doof. Yeah. No? No, I can't know. do it. Maybe talk um, to it? I just, no, I think I just have to, like, Let him do that. Have to distract. No, there you go. Okay. That's how. Apparently, we just got to talk to it. Chomp, chomp. He's eating Bidoof your house. Bidoof. Bidoof. Mine's just like um. Bidoof. Caught it. Great going, team. You know the trainer in Diamond and Pearl that has like nothing but Bidoof. Yeah. That's gonna be her. Yep. Maybe up at the farm? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, not the farm. The uh, I'm thinking up at the training grounds. Same. Well, not houses, but. Beedoof! Easy. Can I just get my hands in this tomorrow? It looks like such a solid game. I've been having so much fun, Dan. Like, so, so, so much fun. It's so different from any other Pokemon game. Like, so different. But honestly, I reckon they've done a really good job. But I mean, obviously not everyone's gonna like this kind of game either. Like some people only like Pokemon for the competitive side of it and there is no competitive side for this game. It just, there, there isn't. Um, so, and that's, you know, totally valid, 100% okay. Uh, but I'm really enjoying it. Really, really. See no Bidoof.
Um, hello, Charismatic. I remember Pokemon games are kind of terribly designed for the competitive part. Anyway, fair. Totally fair. I mean, they still seem to get along okay, but yeah, there's a lot of, like... There's always, like, meta play and stuff like that. They don't seem to know how to break those metas. They don't seem to be willing to tweak and adjust and stuff to... Maybe willing or able. Big match. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe... Well, we already found one. Yeah, the, the problem with, like, competitive gameplay stuff needs to constantly be tweaked and needs to constantly be adjusted when players... Because humans will find ways to exploit stuff. Like, that's that's how we mm. do things. We find the easiest... Maybe it is up in the It just didn't look up. There's definitely a possibility. What? Wanna bet? You can't get through any other gap with that score. I know. I know. Don't do much to convince other things before into exploring and finding all the nooks and crannies. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this this one will definitely be one for you. Um, it's like the game can be completed by focusing on battling or by focusing on just catching a fuck ton of Pokemon. I reckon it's going to be around the back here. Like up in a corner around here. Maybe not around the, like the back back. Wow. But like around the side or something. Hmm. Oh, okay. Sneaky beef. Um, with all this like swinging the camera around, I'm actually starting to get a little motion sick. Yeah. No. no, because watching it's still gonna make me no motion sick. Just close your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe stop swinging your camera around so much. But that's how we look for things. You've already looked there. Really not well enough. Oh, goodness. Or well, maybe they had to be found in like an order. In there, I'm going to drown. So that's where the second one was, wasn't it? Just there. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be one super close to it. Well, hang on, we didn't look on the other side of this gate. Like, this is where I'd expect it to be. Like, right here. That makes the most sense with all the other placements. Or, like, in there. Haven't I looked at it? Where is Bidoof?
<laughs> I we've run straight past it. We have to have. Unless this is somehow bugged, what I'm uh, am I just falling asleep? Is that the problem? This is hilarious. Is fear asleep? Um. Yeah, you look. You didn't see it and just not point it out to me so that you could cheat, did you? No. Why would I do that? So you could take the controller off me? No. I don't understand where it could be. Unless it's outside the gates. It shouldn't be. That'd be a really shitty place to put it because, because it's specifically it's supposed, to be, supposed in the to be in the village. I am feeling nauseous there. Yeah, I wasn't up here. We're around the back of these. The only place we didn't check. So you could look like the hero. It's a big accusation, it's also jazz. <laughs> Unless it ran out. But I, it's not there. it's not not so he'd look like the hero, it's so that he'd get to play for a bit. And he'd keep pretending that he didn't know where it was so that he could just explore and stuff. It's supposed to be in the village, but... It is, yeah. Oh, hey, look. The guy from... Yeah. enough weasel. So it, it's a big weasel. We really should change, you know, what the quest was. It was size. Hmm. You can check the weasel height in their stats. Yes, you can. I'd already tried to hand that one in, and it had already told me no. That's how I knew. Right, so I know where it is. Oh, excuse me.
Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Yep. No wonder we couldn't see him. It was behind the tree, and in the shadows. And it's not shit. just that it was behind the tree, but as I was running closer, it, it literally disappeared. disappeared. Yep. Like, I get draw distance and all that, but... Yeah. This is a quest objective. Yeah. And the guide was like, the second one is really easy to see, even if you look in its general direction, you'll see it. And I'm like, no, we didn't. Like, three times we ran past. It is the same close events. They're very well, like, yeah, very well, what's it? Um, uh, camouflage. There we go. But, like, it disappeared twice while it was running towards it. Yep. Excuse me. I did have a bit of an oopsie. Nice work. That puts all little troublemakers safely in our custody. Now to give them the old heave-ho. Hold on! Think well. It'd be a shame to just send those Bidoof back into the wild, no? My construction corps could find a use for them. Huh? You want to keep them? But these naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction corps. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How are they supposed to know our village is a strict no-chewing zone? She's right. Shows good taste on their part to come all the way here to gnaw on our woodwork, too. Good point. But if they're gonna stay here, they'll have to help with our work. They've got the guts to keep trying to get into the village, plus the teeth to gnash through the trees and rocks. Just what our core needs. How about it, little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know. <laughs> Just what I wanted to hear. Mm, I'm not convinced this lot have it in them to do an honest day's work, but if Sanka's watching over them, I'm sure it'll work out alright. My bees. So I guess that's settled. Thanks again for your help. Let's complete. Rare candy. All right, let's do some storyline. Under Kamada, indeed. You're a weirdo, you know that. Commodity commander. <laughs> My lord. Commander commodity. Oh. Oh. Goodness gracious. Oh. Oh, I know. I'm just all of a sudden a wall hath hit me. Left. Mm. Don't forget to sashay. And it's fighting time. What do you intend to do about that cleaver, Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. He's got a point. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. <clears throat> but even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honoured nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a first as far as my clan knows, too. Mm, I see you've arrived. I'll take it. <laughs> this is Fear, the newest member of our survey corps. Thanks. Aha, I hear from Mai you earned Weirdia's favour. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's just a mouthful. Just call me Adamant. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? Yep. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I just ended up here. I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? Head. You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver, this newcomer with no experience, says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If hot new you are, if how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid her chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. 
This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made history vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. Put her in a Pokeball. Pokemon can shrink, remember? Humans can't. This is your mission now, Fear. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of the situation. There's a way to make a human shrink. Oh. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. Yeah, me too. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Well, that's settled, and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is descended from a Pokémon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokémon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Wanna bet? I found a level 40 alpha fucking uh, what's it called? No, the Rapidash. Rapidash. My god, it's self-insert. Uh, no, uh, yes, be warned. Oh, goodness gracious. I've just been hit by a wall. Uh, listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. Did we get hit by truck? N no. Um, no, I'm just... Like, all of a sudden, really tired. Um, but that's okay. Uh, we mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans. Understand? Join me downstairs, Fear. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Looks like somebody's punched her in the nose way too many times. Oh, she's just pissed. Like, permanently. Yeah, punch her in the nose way too many times. <laughs> One thing we carried to be hit with a random truck is self insert. <sighs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, good, you're already here. Professor Leventon, this, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. Sophia, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. But, as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing, nigh invincible even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but. I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. He's, it seems he's a far trickier opponent than even these those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? No. Of course. Very well, then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokémon in locations they call the Nobles' Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sort of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Let me guess. Berries. While reading everything allowed you're spending more energy than usual, hence getting more tired. You know what? You might not be wrong. Like, I'm... Ooh, uh... Uh, Fear, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where our almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. Fuck's sake. <laughs> one true god. Uh, so if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you travelled through time by almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must have been just swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favour to ask of you, oh amazing time traveller. Don't just study Cleaver. Quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adaman. Hope your stream is going well. Indeed it is, Lox. Having lots of fun. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, yes, we were just discussing our next steps with regard to the whole Cleaver situation. Oh ho, you must be that Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with us sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask for those of the Galaxy team, of all people, for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share Husui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. 
But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know? He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish <laughs> him to or not. He's a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, no. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Bye, Adam. Mm. Wow, he just said his piece and then vanished. He must just value his time that much, I guess. Adam and I weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Now that we've got the Heights camp, it should come in handy for getting to Grand Tree Arena. And don't forget to visit the pastures. Choosing your Pokemon team carefully makes a difference. I have an idea. Oh. Tickle the Cleaver. Tickle the Cleaver. Yeah. With Cricket Tune. Lily, Lily, Lily. Ooh. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across? Satchel, always seeming full? If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend, your, lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. He's a telemarketer. <laughs> His name is Baggin, and he's gonna give me a bigger bag. <clears throat> His first name is Bilbo. You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you'd like. What do you say? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. That's cheap. Perfect, lend me your ear a moment. You've made space to keep one more kind of item in your satchel. And that's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit in by packing things rightly. If you want to be carrying even more things, there's more I can teach you. What do you say? Right, okay, so we can buy extra bag space. For 100, then 200, then 300, then 400, I assume. Otherwise, unless it doubles each time, which, well, that'll get fucking expensive. He's great. Mr. Baggins. Hmm. Cool that you can buy extra bag space though. It's funky. Oh man. Hey, at least you don't start with a bag of holding. Mm. Like literally every other Pokemon mm. protagonist. Ah, uh, is this gonna hang on? How are things, my good friend? Okay, he's gonna stop. We're gonna do the battle. Ugh. Just some drink. Yeah, I'm gonna. So <sighs> mm. <laughs> too much fun with that, aren't you? <laughs> Winning. I like winning. Oh, you're in the <clears throat> This was crap out of everything. charging in the top left corner, we mean. We do indeed. Congratulations to K, View, Oz, Solstice, Faden, Spam, Louis, and Durin on all your bonus shit. Excuse me. Um, we're not gonna do another battle tonight. Um, because it's like 9.45 and I'm actually kind of dying a little bit, but what we are gonna do is finish this little speechy thing with Volo. Uh, how are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think nothing of it. Having the survey core out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know? Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. You obtained three super potions. Delicious. Yeah, and now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Stretch. Yeah, look. Not a bad idea. Whoa. I think what we're actually gonna do. Saving quit. Uh, yeah, actually. Cause, uh. Hang on a second. I 
just like I can say like one more item. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, all right. Learn to pack your bags properly with these. <laughs> Tossing it all in isn't a useful way to save space. Look, I actually do agree. Um, I can fit, like, what, three weeks worth of fucking clothing in a goddamn carry-on. <laughs> It'll weigh a shitload, though, and they'll charge me extra for it, but, um, I can do it. Uh, awesome! We did so well! I'm really happy with how I'm going and the game is awesome. I, like, I, I don't know what all the negativity and stuff online was about. I, like, I don't know because I didn't really do any reading into it or anything, but, um, it, yeah, no. Nah. I um I don't think I mean look it's it's definitely an incredibly different Pokemon game. There's there's no two um, ways about that. You're in the middle of an ad. I know, that's why I'm talking rather than talking about what we're doing next stream. Talking about oh, the game instead. Okay. I've been doing this for a while. I do have a strategy around yep, okay, cool. <laughs> I can see the big yellow flag on my dashboard. Which is a great time indeed. Yeah, I agree. I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Like, I love... It's got all the aspects of Pokemon that I love. So, like, all the catching and and the cute stuff and, uh, you know, the, the interesting storyline that, you know, makes you just kind of face palm at times because of how ridiculous it is and, and all the, the terrible puns and stuff like that. Um, but it also has some other things. It, it, the, the stuff that it's missing... The, the trainer battles, the Elite Four, the competitive side of stuff, all that stuff that it's missing, I'm not, like, I do it because it opens up the rest of the world for me to collect, to, for me to complete my Pokedex, you know? And it's doubled down on those completion sides of things. Like, not only do you have to catch everything to record it, but you've got to catch it 25 times. You've got to, like, there, there are all these little different tasks you can do to, like, complete your, your study of the... Because that's the thing. You don't know every... That's the one thing I always did not understand about goddamn fucking Pokemon is that you catch one level two Spearow on a goddamn Route 2 and you suddenly know everything about that entire fucking you species. You the Pokedex into it and it reads its DNA and you know absolutely everything there is to possibly know about this Right? The, the and that, that doesn't make any sense. However, if you catch 25 of them you have a bit of an idea about the variances in what they eat and don't eat and their su the potential sizes and all like so that it makes a lot more sense to me and that's kind of, that was one of the things i really loved when i did do you know dally in final fantasy for a short while was their um their what do they call it i don't remember what they could there was like the book with all the different and you had to kill a certain number of each monster to complete its diary page or whatever it was i don't remember what it's called and it doesn't really matter um but like i i really loved that particular aspect of final fantasy i thought it was really cute and fun and so it's kind of combined that with pokemon and the the story all that kind of, i'm i'm really enjoying this is my kind of shit not that i, I don't think i like it better than the original pokemon games they're just too different to compare i think like, it's the same art, same kind of setting, but the actual gameplay is entirely different. Um, so, hunting logs, yeah, that's the one. So, yeah, um, I'm I'm loving this. I'm really, truly enjoying it. Uh, where's... This button, you can get cut off a bit because it's usually placed with the camera down the other side, but that's fine. Um, so, today's the 28th. We have two streams left in January before fun-filled February... Hits. Did you know I'm streaming 24 out of 28 days in Feb? Yes, I read the Discord. 30 extra hours. Yes, I read the Discord. I tend to do that on the mod. Yeah, but I posted it, I think, just before you, like, got in the car to come home from work. So I wasn't too sure if you'd had a chance to see it. And then I went walking around Bunnings and Aldi. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, did you find a picnic like it? Yes. Yay! We have a picnic like it. Brilliant. We do not have a picnic basket. No, we don't need a picnic basket. So we don't have a Yogi Bear to worry about. <laughs> Good. Hunting Long Final Fantasy. Yes, that's the one. Like Pokemon Snap, which I've also been very enjoying. Yes, absolutely great. So very different. Uh, where did January go? Uh, January is actually officially the shortest month of the year because you go and it's gone. Um, <laughs> I woke up from December, man. Well, I, yeah, I mean, it's still March 2020, to be perfectly honest. But uh, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, so on Sunday, we're going to be doing some transport hunting. Going to push that ATT percentage up. And then on Monday, back to Mount Farm Monday. 
uh, on the 31st of Jan. Um, April's gonna be super short too. So, um, yeah, that's Transport Hunting, Mount Farm Monday. And then on Wednesday, so the 2nd of February, is when we're gonna dive into Lunar Festival in World of Warcraft. We're gonna jump in and we're gonna do the Elder Tour um, and get all as many of the transmog items, hopefully all the transmog from Lunar Festival. I'd like to cross it off my ATT list entirely, if at all possible. Um, I don't think I will because it will want to have the like the um, heirloom upgrades there as potentials that I could get during Lunar Festival, but I want to cross everything else off. Um, we have, and then Friday, next Friday, this time next week, can you fetch me that large box under there? <clears throat> One week from now, Logu. we will be, we'll be, yeah, we'll be building Logu Grogu. Um, so I misspoke. It is a Lego Grogu, quite obviously. Um, the kit number is 75318. His ears move, his fingers move. Um, he's very cute. Uh, you get a little one too. Look. Yeah, you do. You get a little one because there's like the panel with all the information and stuff, we and then there's like a little, little tiny Grogu on big Grogu head. baby Grogu. <laughs> we could. We could. Um, so, yes, that's what we're going to build. This is a, a gift sent to me by Zaren, which I am exceptionally appreciative of. So, we're going to build him on stream next Friday. Uh, so, if you haven't yet and you wanted to grab one so that you can build along with me, I'd be getting on that because getting it by next Friday is, um, unless you can find it in store somewhere, but it's, um, you, you're pushing your luck. So, definitely get on that if that's something that you want to do. Um, otherwise, you can always build it along with the VOD if you so desire. Ah, uh, look at it today. Be four short weeks in a row with Easter, Anzac Day, and Labor Day. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Right, yeah. Huh? There goes my April budget. Mm. Oh, who knows? Maybe by April you'd be part time. Need to be six months. Ah, well, hey, at least you've got a fucking road to part time better yeah. than the last place. Yeah, that's true. Good lord, hey, you know, take the wins when we can get them. And that's okay, we'll, we'll sort something out. We'll, we'll adjust our budget for the month. We'll be okay, don't worry. Uh, Jas is casual. He doesn't get paid for public holidays. So when we get a bunch of short weeks in a row like that... It's shit. We get a little bit uncomfortable with money. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and I'm the self-professed queen of budgeting, so we make it work. Oh, shit, yeah, I get that. Yeah, it's it's a bit. I mean, it's great because you get time off and all that, but then it's also shit because you can't do anything with the time off because you can't spend anything. Casual work is the worst work. <laughs> it's okay. We'll do a giant puzzle. Hey. Fun without spending money. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily on a salary. Yeah. Um. I'm. I'm not. But I'm permanent. I do get paid. Technically, it's hourly. Um, so I do, I do have a, a salary, but because I'm part-time, it get paid, it's get paid, that, it gets paid pro rata. Um, but I do, I do get paid if there's a public holiday that, that lands on a Tuesday or a Thursday. Do you know how many public holidays end up being on a Tuesday or a Thursday? Quite a few, actually. One a year. Last year, I got one day off because of a public holiday. This year might be different. It was because the Boxing we have, Day observed. Because we have a bunch of roving public holidays. Yeah, but usually they land Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. That's the thing. If they move, they usually don't land on a Tuesday. Um, in Melbourne, they did. And when I was in Victoria, we used to have a ton of public holidays that would land on a Tuesday because, like, um, Grand Final Day, Melbourne Cup Day is always on a Tuesday, uh, all that kind of shit. And so they do, like, Monday as, like, the um, the, the parent-teacher day or whatever. Let's look up how many days off you get this year. Ooh. Can I look? No, mate. Um, is that the right year? Yes, that's why it says 2020. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. None this year. One. Not a single one. Where? Christmas Day is observed on the 27th of December. I don't know why. Because Boxing oh, Day because is Oh, because Boxing Day is the 27th. So I get the same. So last of the year I got Boxing Day off, and this year I get Christmas Day off. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I only work two days a week. I don't need extra days off. Like, I am quite content with my work-life balance. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a nightmare because I work in logistics. Booking transport is just fun. I see you're using fun here the way that I use fun when I speak of fun-filled February. Sweet. Yes, I know. Uh, American, when I hear Boxing Day, I think of the sport of boxing. Yeah, nah. 
Incorrect. Stupid sport, anyway. Ah. Uh, look, I mean, there are lo there are loads of sports that are stupid because they involve people doing silly things with their bodies that they probably shouldn't be, and it's not my place or your place to judge people for doing what they want to do with their bodies. Look, I've got no problem with the people doing it. Go ahead. I think the sport is stupid. I I, oh, okay. I I can think that it's a bad sport and not diss the people who do the sport. Like, yeah, but you are by saying the sport is stupid. Yeah, I'm saying it's silly because you no, know you don't. No, that's All the right, thing. Fine. If you don't want to make people upset, you say I don't like the sport. I don't like the sport because there's not enough you know protections in place for the people doing the sport. That's totally fine. Like they fine. literally get punched in the head for a living. There are a lot of boxing things where if you punch them in the head, they'll immediately call out. But you know, just saying, if you call something stupid, you are immediately by def, like by extension calling everyone who likes it stupid because they like something stupid that's not very nice it's a shit thing to say all right that's fair. instead you're you are completely right you are allowed to not like something you absolutely do not have to like or enjoy or think it's a good idea to be involved in boxing absolutely not but you don't call it stupid you just say i don't like it all right i don't it's, like boxing totally fair that way you're not disrespecting other people for their opinions. Um, exactly the same kind of fun. Yep, brilliant. Um, yeah, no, choosing choosing words carefully like that in order to offend as few people as possible is something I have honed over many years of practice. <laughs> that's fair. I'm also really freaking tired. I know you are. I know. So am I. Uh, and that's why we're finishing up. I'm going to find somebody to raid. Um, but you know we always have chats at the end of stream anyway because we get caught up in, in stuff. Welcome to actually being a part of stream. You gotta stick do. around for this shit. No, you... <laughs> can you move this so I can actually see half my screen? He'll also do. Thank you. As will that. Would you please let me make my decisions my way? Thank y'all. You know where we haven't gone in a really long time? Let's do this. All right. Exactly the same kind of fun. Yeah, look, February is going to be... Um, um, yeah, I might end up booking myself some time off work in... in February just to kind of get through everything else that I've got planned because it's going to be a it's going to be a time just like looking at the whole map oh hey Jas, where did you get that amazing shirt we're not going into another spiel <laughs> if we are I'm going to bed cool thank you so much for being but anyway a it's light. from a fears to your store. it should be in a panel below the channel that's my merch uh alrighty here we go Thank you very much, Duran. There you go. There is a link to merch. There is going to be hopefully some Thanks, more. Darren. Yes, awesome work. Um, I'm looking at bringing in some some more merch for February because it's my birthday. It's my six year anniversary. It's a whole look. February's fucked. Um, so fingers crossed, we'll have some new bits, including a hydrate water bottle. But we'll see how we go. No promises just yet. I have to make sure it actually looks decent before I put it in there. Here we go, doing a raid. Uh, we're gonna raid Sleepy because we're feeling sleepy and because also she's just super, super lovely. Uh, grab your copy paste if you do not have the Fiamma Hypey note, either because you're not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points. That's totally fine. Excuse me. You can still copy and paste the entire message into Sleepy's chat, delete the Fiamma Hype part and replace it with your favorite happy Hypey celebratory emote. Uh, when we get there, I'm going to see you on Sunday for transmog hunting and I'm going to see you in my Instagram stories tomorrow. Come follow along uh, with Jas and I are going on a hell of an adventure. So throw me a follow on Insta, check out those stories and I will, I will see you there. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other and I'll see you on Sunday for transmog. More ATT happy brain noises. Yes. 
an adventure. We're starting bright and early in the morning and it's probably going to go for most of the day. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. I will see you on Sunday, guys. All the love. <laughs> yes, definitely. ATT happy brain noises. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.